Where our heroes left off. Miss Gilbert brought her class to the museum and met up with the rest of the would-be team. You must be Miss Gilbert. I oh am, my god, I am I'm so Mr. excited King. to show you guys around the Thank museum today. Thank you so much for taking oh. the time to do this. The kids are all raring oh, to absolutely. go. Oh, absolutely, it's my pleasure. And my TA is also here. What's your name? I reach my hand out to, to Harlem. My name's Nun. None of your business. Then, after Harlem touched the artifact, the three were imbued with the powers of the Prime Force. I don't want to touch it. I want to break it. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. How am I gonna make a teaching moment out of this? But on their way to stop the revival of Darkstar, they ran into a bit of trouble. Scion is sent into the glass case containing... Pencil Man. Gaslight. Damn it. Unsure of what to do with this new power, the team will just have to roll with it. heroes left off. The team, after messing with an artifact in the museum, have gained powers beyond their wildest dreams. Or nightmares, in the case of Harlem. Now, they have set off to save the world from the evil Dark Star and stop the museum exhibits from coming to life. However, now stands in their way the hero known as Centurion, with an axe placed firmly at the neck of Miss Gilbert. That's where we pick back up. So, what do you, uh, what do you do? Miss G. Well, shit. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm going, since he's, he's a statue, right? And his arms are out like this? He is a statue. His arms are completely solid, kind of like halfway up. Like, his hands yeah. are at his shoulders, but they don't move. They don't go down so or up. So, if I, if just I just... Stuck. If I just crouch down slightly, am I like out of danger? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, you assume that he can't just, he can't move his arm down. It doesn't look like he's got a lot okay. of mobility there. I crouch down and I look at him and I'm like, Centurion, the re that's the real Centurion. <clears throat> he is still looking dead ahead, but, but it's, it's <laughs> obvious he's taking notice of you. Get back, get back up here. Okay, you shouldn't okay. be here. Right, right, right. Okay, hang on. And I, I <laughs> lift myself back up so he's got the axe. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Um, uh, Jason, you want to explain? You, you, you run this yeah, place. Yeah, actually, you, you shouldn't be <laughs> here, actually. Your, your exhibit's down the hall on the other side of the hall. How do you get all the way over here now? Never mind how this I is, got here. This is the portrait hall. There's no statues here. Anyway, um, my, my bad, I digress. Um, listen, you know, you're not supposed to be alive, actually. Uh, every hero in the world uh, died 200 years ago. <laughs> Two no. centuries ago, That's Centurion. <laughs> <laughs> and he waddles over to you, like, <laughs> waddling back and forth, puts the axe up to your neck. You think you're funny, kid? You don't scare me. Just crouch down, just crouch down slightly, Harlem. He can't get you down there. I Listen. doubt he can even swing that thing. <laughs> Do you work with the Martian? <laughs> oh, no. Who? <laughs> no, that, the name Martian. Is, that name is completely alien to us. <laughs> Oops. Uh, oh, no, I don't, I, don't think I'm funny. I don't think I'm funny. Don't come over here. The Martian has ruled over Rome for 100 years. Oh, no, he's, yeah, Rome's safe now. I mean, 
That was that was ages ago. Was that the Roman Empire? No, yeah, it fell apart. It, no, it dissolved. I thought about yeah, this in that, history. No, oh, that I, wouldn't happen. Last Rome week. is strong. It got too Rome, big. Rome is Rome is you got, guys too got a little too greedy, Segmented. you know. Rome is like an of, iron forge. It shall never falter. There was a lot of backstabbing. There was Why a lot do of, you speak this language to me? Well, this is just this is just English. I mean, why do I, I actually, speak this? I got my I got my three ring binder right here. If you look right here. Just right in here. So there's the. This is the history one. Yeah, sure. And he I like. Always, <laughs> whoa! Moves What's with the axe. Like. I was gonna teach. Right he, can he, oh my god! I was gonna teach the seventh through? graders about about ancient Rome and, and Greece next class. But if you look right here, um. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta look up fucking how ancient Rome fell because I don't goddamn know. <laughs> hey, since he had the axe to my throat, when he can he move to the point where it moves through. Uh, my head, but I, I use precise shadow form to make my head, uh, you know, the shadowy, uh, airy gas like. Sure, like form, we can. And it just kind of passes through. We can say since he was standing right there at you, when he is talking to Miss Gilbert, he is just moving himself kind of <laughs> back and forth, and the axe is just passing through <laughs> your head. That's nuts, dude. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh -huh. as you can see here, it tickles. Uh, as you can see here, I actually history history.com. See where and he like flails <laughs> the Whoa! axe like yeah, right no, past so Jason. So it's econ epi ec economic oh. troubles, uh, over over reliance on uh, on slave labor, uh, rise of the Eastern Empire. He's looking, he's looking like at over this page. Over expansion, over expansion. Right? Can you actually read this? Was a big this? one. He starts to like lean forward and get down. He like turns his body up to you and then back down to this. <laughs> To this page, <laughs> I'm sorry. And he to, looks back up at you, telling you back, this. Back down here is like, what are these runes? Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Listen, basically though, you're like you're you're very far in the future from when. Yeah, and, and I can tell just... we've got another we've got another tactile learner on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I hear about Rome? <laughs> it wasn't built in one day. It wasn't built in a day. Good work, yes, Jason. it was. Here's one gold it star. It was by the Martian. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't think that's ah, actually true. I hear that Rome is strong because it was only built in one day, <laughs> which never means they never saw the night, and therefore they never saw the darkness. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense because it's not like Rome fell in a day. Either. Actually, it I was mean, government corruption and political instability that. That's a, and that's pretty dark, to be. really. <laughs> The hell's up with this guy? Uh, There's nothing darker than the human heart, it seems. He's he's <laughs> been like that for the last like 30 minutes. Like, I don't I know yeah. a lot of philosophers, but shit. Uh, I wouldn't call him a I wouldn't if you, I wouldn't call if you him start calling him if you start he's, calling him a philosopher, he's gonna get he's a lot so worse. wise. Oh, no. A philosopher, I could use that term to my repertoire. Oh God! No, no. Obviously, already, you are the leader of this group. It's happening. Oh God, Jason! Oh, we're so we're doomed. <laughs> I did over. get them to this floor all by myself. We could have just walked <laughs> up this, here. It was just this a, floor. A you made state. this floor. It is beautiful. <laughs> What is I this have made, made of? This floor. He, like, he falls flat down on his face <laughs> and like looks at the floor. Yeah, yes, it is beautiful. It is made You're... out of shadow, and it's that is why course. you cannot see. An ethereal being, and he lifts his head back up off the floor. Listen, did he just go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He just did that. Did a full oh like God. flop up. He looks right at you. You must help me stop the Martian. No, we have bigger things on our plate. Like, like what a, could be bigger than all of Rome? Uh, I don't know, like a star, a dwarf, a dwarf, a what? Giant star, you know, one of those things in the sky. At night, uh, just a man gonna destroy you mean the, the light entire balls. world. The entire world is gonna be destroyed by a man. Okay, those light balls are small. You do not understand. The Empire of Rome is large. I thought the Romans much larger were smart. than the light balls up above. <laughs> Listen, I didn't pay much attention okay. in history class, Miss G. But <laughs> listen, listen, Centurion. No, don't worry. Neither none did of, I. Absolutely none of this is right. <laughs> now, <laughs> Centurion, if we help you with this Martian problem, will, will you help us with this Dark Star? Another villain. He he could take down Rome if we don't stop him. Take down Rome. We must stop him. <laughs> 
<clears throat> and he <laughs> and he starts to he starts to waddle down the hallway. All right. And he turns around. We got another one. Are you coming? <laughs> This, be, this be right like on the way. <laughs> he turns right back around and he starts waddling. I think I saw ah. the Martian down the stairs. <laughs> he turns around the other way and starts waddling. Okay. Um, and now, as you guys are, can we can we like take him with us? Yeah. Can we like? Okay. Yeah. I I, I think that convincing him that you know this is going to destroy Rome if he doesn't help us. So he's you know, easy. <laughs> Which, I mean, is As kind you, of technically sort of correct, maybe. It's a little bit true. I mean, the <laughs> land where Rome was. You know, uh, it's details, it's details. As you're walking down this hallway with Centurion, oh. the hallway starts to change. <laughs> you look to your left. It's a man. You see paintings. Most of them different, but... A recurring one. Pencil man. Standing atop a sea of blood. You look to your right. That's the only painting you see. Your left, the only painting you see. The hallway, you look behind you. Miles long. There is only pencil man. I don't understand. Pencil man, pencil man never killed anybody. Control the darkness, control the darkness, how control many, the darkness. How many crimes did he erase with his pencil feet? Um, I open up a flip book I have in my pocket called Hero Facts. It says <laughs> two. Both of them tax fraud. <laughs> you, you, you go on and you see more photos on the wall, paintings, I mean. And you see, you see... Pencil man doing taxes. <laughs> it is horrifying. It's a horrifying sight. You've never seen anything like it. I thought we got uh, rid you, of those 200 years ago. No. What do you? What do you do? Do you keep following Centurion down this hallway? Um, I am gonna attempt to use a skill here. Sure. I have expertise in magic, and I this seems this seems magical to me. I'm gonna try and figure out what's going on. Can I try and do that? You can try, sure. Okay, I'm gonna just try and roll for it. That's gonna be a um, 13 plus 15, 28. So with that, you, you understand that this is not what it appears to be. Okay. You understand that the area surrounding you is in reality not what you're seeing. You 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 know that this is a hmm. it's not real. But you can't really decipher what is causing it or where it's coming from, what what is really happening at all. Other than that, this isn't real. I tried to tell you, and I, you didn't listen to me. I call out. I call out, Harlem, Harlem. It's okay. This isn't real. No. This isn't real. It's just some sort it's of. It's the Council of Pencil, <laughs> and they're coming. <laughs> They've been corrupted by the darkness. No, I what told you, you right to check on no him. Sense. Jason, can you talk some sense into him? Uh, the lights. I, I don't, the lights are listen, dimming. I don't think even I can do that. Look, listen. Pull out your pull out your book getting of fun smoked. facts. Look, there's no. As you can see right here, there's no hall of pencil breathe. man. It's clearly an illusion. They can't breathe in the morph mask. It's okay, Harlem. It's definitely an illusion. We don't have one of these. As you look down the hallway, you see Centurion. Why is it dark? He's walking, getting farther away, and all of a sudden, he drops through the floor. You hear a. Aah! Huh. Well, and you see the floor in front of you, almost tile by tile, drop hey, you one wanna, like, by one. Like, like pinch each other, maybe? Uh, <laughs> I can't see! I can't see! I can't see! I can't see! His eyes are closed. I can't the see! The floor <laughs> drops again in front of you. I want to use... And right beneath... Oh. 
What Sorry, go ahead. No, no, what no, do you, you want to do? First. You go first. You can do. You can do it if you want to do something. Do it now. Okay, I'm gonna pull out of my utility belt this little black bird. It's this like little little bird statue, and sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna toss it down on the ground, and it's gonna like burst out in this cloud of what's at first smoke, and then the smoke takes takes form into these like smoky ravens. And now I'm standing atop of them, floating above the ground. So like, while it's falling, I don't go with it, basically. Okay. Okay. So you're able to do that for yourself. Mm -hmm. I can't but do it for others, but I can grab on. I can grab others. on. I can grab onto them, which I try. Oh, no, to. I got it. I got it. Um, <laughs> I I sense nearby paper. I close my eyes and I feel nearby paper. And I'm like, yes, yes, I feel it. And I pull it towards me and I use it as a platform to float on since I can control paper. No, my three rank binder. <laughs> okay. All of my notes. I don't remember um, how Rome fell anymore. Shit. Uh, I don't think you need to know that that badly. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the only practical use of that information you'll ever find. I was working on the sequel to the learning song. It's gone Harlem, now. Harlan, do you do anything? Yeah, you don't know how Rome fell, but you know how Harlem falls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's so, so okay. Harlem goes crashing down. And we'll get well, back to the others later. Oh. Harlem, <laughs> you see you see lights all around you, almost as if you're being shot through the cosmos. You see ah! worlds passing by you. You see things that are familiar, things that are strange. And you land right on a dirt road. <gasps> dirt. Lil Nas. <laughs> now when you get up to look around, you look around <laughs> you and so you close. see... I cannot be controlled by the darkness. I will not be controlled. Are you keeping your eyes closed? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, then I'll describe what you hear. You hear carts moving left and right of you. You feel you feel so many so many people rushing around you. Uh. The smell it's almost it's almost like sweaty. Everything's sweaty. It smells really <laughs> okay. sweaty in here. I, I open my uh, eyes and I uh... but it's cold. Okay. I open my yep. eyes and I, I take the the morph the morph mask and I put it back so as you can see the the eyes and stuff. If he was wearing eyeliner, it's fucking everywhere, dude. Like, <laughs> this kid, Harlem getting traumatized today. You open your eyes to see a small, almost self-contained piece of the city of Rome. <laughs> Holy shit. Around you, there are carts moving up and down the road, but there's only this one road and another road in front of it going in a T formation. The trees standing next to you, left and right. And if you look up, you see a glass dome falling around you on all sides. It's essentially a snow globe. Okay. All right, I want to um, rush into the shadow of a nearby tree or something and, and try and just hide. Okay, yeah, you can do that. You rush over to a nearby tree, uh, nearly being hit by one of the carts rushing down the street. It seems like these carts are going right through this glass dome, not even paying any mind to it, as if you are the only one inside this dome. As well as there's this light snow falling. Okay. But it's very strange. It's just coming through the dome. Uh, you go over to that tree and you hide in the shadows and you wait there. Let's get back to our boys who who made it. Hey, uh, you <laughs> are <laughs> made it. Holy shit! All right. <laughs> You're standing in complete darkness on these uh, on these platforms. Yeah. Huh. I'm on birds. Well, I'm on paper. I guess that's um. Guess that's the last we'll see of Harlem. <laughs> I'm just kind of glad that yeah, I won't have to hear him talk about darkness again, honestly. No, no, Jason. This no, is I mean this is too much for this is too much for detention. I gotta go get him. 
Oh, come on. You see, I'm responsible, I'm be I'm responsible for him as much as the other kids. I've got to make sure mm-hmm. that he makes it home safe. So I'm going to go down there. Can you we don't not, have like, to. You don't have a commitment, an obligation, but I have to go down oh, there and make sure he's okay. You're, you're guests of the museum that you're, I'm touring you, you know? Like, you know, if you get hurt while I'm on the job, what's that mean for me? You know? That's that's up to that's up to you, Jason. But God if you come it. with me, I'll give you another gold star. I have a bunch that I was going to give out. Today. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I already have one. I need another one. OK, <laughs> if you get five, I'll give you a sticky hand. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I love those things. My dentist stopped giving them to me. So Perfect. Like, I, I, Downward, okay. Ravens. Scraw. <laughs> I'm gonna go start descending on my cloud of ravens. As the ravens bring you down, you see as they almost disappear beneath your feet. The same with the paper. Oh. As you pass into, into this dome that I described before, and you both so we fall see it from flat above? down. Uh, well, you can't see it until you get into it. Okay, okay. Everything is dark until you enter the dome. Gotcha. But you basically just saw like your bottom half disappearing for a sec. Okay, I see. Interesting. Which is probably a little scary. Um, you both land I- exactly where he landed. You know, with the carts passing by you, rushing people rushing around you, some even pushing you, stepping on you, trying to get Ow. where they need to go. Uh, what Wonder- the fuck? <laughs> obviously rushing to be somewhere. And if you take a closer look at these citizens, these people walking around, none of them actually <sighs> have faces. And then they, yeah, okay, and that's. Is there anything I can learn from this? The archaeologists found 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 some stuff, but I want to learn, baby. I want to learn about ancient Rome. You want to learn about ancient Rome? Okay, yeah, I well, study apparently some it snows. Fucking pottery. Apparently, it snows a lot. It's a snowy place. I don't think that's how. Is that? I don't think. I, well, Jason, I don't think here. this wasn't this wasn't the climate of ancient Rome. It wasn't. No, I'm pretty yeah, you, sure. Mr. Mr. Gilbert is a is a history teacher, and he's told me a little bit about this. I'm pretty sure it wasn't this snowy. Well, I mean, I'm, I I thought it snowed there every once in a while. You know, I thought it was like Northern Hemisphere. Hey, Mrs. G. <laughs> Harlem. <laughs> oh, Harlem. I'm gonna rush over to him. Are you okay? Are you, you- okay? Get me out this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's back to normal. I mean. <laughs> Harlem has been restored to his former asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, you see all this around you. You actually, when you rush over to Harlem, you see standing in a bush, maybe trying to blend in, but not doing so well, is Centurion. And still in his statue form, still cannot move other than just waddling. Huh. Does anyone seem bothered actually, by this? I'm, no. I'm bothered about it, but like not anybody else, probably. I, I swear we didn't have any full statues of Centurion. It was just a bust. Where'd he get the rest of the body from? Hmm, I think we have we might have more impro- uh, more important things to deal with right now, Mr. King. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Harlem, and, um, are you okay? Fucking hate Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why got what shitty on earth? food? <laughs> okay, what on earth so could you have? Looks like we're in some Rome? kind of big dome or something. I hate hmm. Rome and I want to go home. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Is this a snow globe? <laughs> oh my god! I think we saw these in the gift shop. <laughs> And as you are taking notice that this is, in fact, a snow globe of Rome, um, you, you look behind you, you see Sion has found his way to you. He is now, he's now standing behind you, just kind of oh, waiting around. Um, and Centurion turns his, I want you to imagine like a stone like grinding sound, just turns <laughs> slowly to look, to look at you. And he doesn't say anything, really. And obviously he doesn't have that many like facial expressions, but somehow you can tell that he is deeply terrified. He looks at you right in your soul. And he kind of like leans forward, looks over to this large, almost, almost looks like a Senate building, right? Okay. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. 
and and it's got it's got a couple stairs leading up um and it's got those got those columns you know that that ancient rome stuff it's got the uh it's got the bushes out right in the front it's all nice all trim and sitting right at the top of these stairs in front of this door is a man in a all gold plate armor set green entirely with a bald head now you know the martian to to wear a, a suit generally but but this is obviously a different time hmm interesting mm. mr galaxy wide <laughs> um centurion i think that's i think that's your guy right there Shh! Don't tell him I'm here. Aren't you supposed to be like a hero? Didn't you rush in and take care of the 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 baddies, or? Bro, I literally can't move my arms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess tell that's a what. fair point. <clears throat> tell you what, I'll throw you at him. I can also don't do that. shoot him. Okay, why don't you stay back here? I'm gonna go try and just talk to him. Let's let's figure out a way out of this mess. Mm. Don't do that. You don't want to do that. Why not? He's just, he's green. He will realize your deepest fears. I mean, I don't know. It just looks like any other Martian on our planet, you know? Wait, you say like he'll make them real? Yes. Okay. Mr. Martian! <laughs> <laughs> he's just what the like hell are sitting. You doing? On, he's just sitting on his throne with two like two people standing next to him, just kind of waving him with uh, oh, with I'm scared. Of, I'm only scared of one thing, Mrs. G. The darkness. What's that? Oh, that just that, that's. <laughs> you really, you really didn't didn't luck out with this one, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> I want to start uh, rushing towards. It's all like light, bright in here, right? Yeah. All right. I want to I start mean, rushing towards the, the green man, the green the ball shadow. man. Okay. You want to rush towards him? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'm gonna try and chase after Harlem then. <laughs> As you rush toward him, he just kind of looks at you and says, "No, no, stop. no! Stop! Please stop! You tire me. What is it you want?" Ah! <laughs> He he has four Roman guards stand right in front of him with a line of shields. Okay, I wanna I wanna fuck. Is there is there a shadow nearby? I wanna jump into the shadow of a bush and then come out the shadow of the uh, the the shields that the shields cast. Uh, you'd have to run back a little bit more, sure. You, can <laughs> so, do it. you just want to scream, run back into a bush. <laughs> 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 they said they close their shields. Wait, no, no. <laughs> it, it would be, it would be like, it would be like this. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what you're describing. And that's he, what I want to do. And he says, um. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I'm sure you'd like to see those students again. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out how to, how to get out of here. But yes, my, my students currently are safe. Well, yeah, then, we put them in the panic room. Oh, sure, sure. Well, keep yeah. your boy in line, and they'll stay safe. Well, it's too late for that because I've already jumped out the shadow. Okay, you jump out the shadow behind him, I guess, or behind the shields, right in front of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be going for a uh, an attack here. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Sure. Go ahead and attack. All what right. do you do? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. After I pop out of the shadow, uh, my uh, crazed emotion, emotional face of uh, of Harlem would basically just have like one fist up as he pops out, and he just goes for a punch. I mean, you you hit sure, but you you feel a slight resistance as you go right through the Martian. Huh? <laughs> You're funny. I like this one. 
No, 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 no. You will be my playthings for a moment. And almost as if a sheet is being pulled off. Oh. Uh, this, this globe opens up and all you see is this big green man what looking down at you. Holy shit. <laughs> looking down at you. And he's just like, tapping on the glass. You're so small. Have you always been this way? No, I really haven't. I'm, I mean, I'm five foot seven. That's arguably small, but not this small. I feel the armor makes me look a little bigger. I think it looks yes, it good does. on me. Yes, it does. Um. Okay. Well. Uh, have fun in there. Bisley, I have a proposal. Can I do something? Sure. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, guys. At any point. I have an ability that lets me move an object up to 25 tons. Can I grab this snow globe with this ability and throw it into his head? <laughs> Can I throw us into his head? <laughs> hmm. We're getting a little like metaphysical here, but like, bear with me. <laughs> How would you pick up the ground? Uh, well, it's like a snow what globe, you... right? I'll, 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 I'll tell it, you. Though. I'll tell you what it is. Is it's a um, it's like a magical, like big hand, like a golden hand, sort of. Oh, are you picking it up, or is this hand picking? This up? hand is picking it up. So I create the hand, and then the hand picks it up. Oh yeah, you can do that. All right, I am going to reach out my hand, uh, and as you see, as I reach it out, uh, as well, these sort of like little wells of golden energy appear in front of me that I move my hand through that are like coating it in this sort of like golden uh, golden light and these different circular runes are appearing as my, um, my my scarlet hair is sort of like whipping back. And then I'm just gonna like uh, clench my, or I, I, I hold my hand outwards, uh, sort of outstretched like I have something in the palm of my hand. And then um, I, I, look at, I look at Harlem and Jason and I say, Ready to go for a ride? Yeah. Scion si looks at you and says, "Wait, please don't." And then I please go, don't do Whoa. that. And I do please don't. I do a big <laughs> throwing motion. <laughs> as I'm now going to hurl <laughs> the entire snow globe into the face of this guy uh, to see if I can, if if we can just break out of here and get out there. Because clearly we are trapped in here right now. We need to get out. Um, okay. So this is technically. An attack with the throne thing. I don't know what's real and what isn't, so just let me know what to do. Um, so I mean you do it. You definitely do it. Okay, we right? go fucking um, yeeting. Like, you wanna it's, it's you wanna, like you wanna roll G. the attack? You wanna roll sure, the attack? Sure, yeah. Um it's gonna be 16 to hit. So it seems like this Ooh. globe. Just kind of, just kind of misses his big green head. You can really only see like, uh -oh. like a very skewed perspective. Like imagine you're on the other side of a fishbowl. Yeah. Like he just looks really weird, uh, and it, and it just kind of moves past his head. This'll get you. And, oh shit! And this snow globe. <laughs> Sorry, language. You you see you see the this marble ground you remember from oh. from the main room just getting closer and closer and closer, and this glass breaks, and you go flying forward into what seems like complete darkness once again oh, and shit. and slowly all three of you notice the darkness start to wither away almost okay. as you are in the hallway oh. that Why you, you were me? once in oh well, the same hallway we were just in yeah oh, You're right okay. There. okay uh can i be laying on a bunch of like the paper from paintings <laughs> yes, you are laying on a bunch of paper from paintings. I, I kind of, I, <laughs> I would just be like up, fucking I look, face first. I look, on the ground, I look yeah. down. I look down at the paintings. I'm like, no! <laughs> oh God! What have I done? <clears throat> oh, it was all an illusion. Then that means, and I look. No, my three ring binder is still <laughs> gone. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Oh God! My classroom notes. <laughs> Centurion goes. Um, from a from a complete flat on the ground. Why would he do such a thing? 
Centurion, Who does he think he is? W- was that was that one of the Martians' powers? Yes, it was. Is there any way we can find him or 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 locate him or just not worry about it? <laughs> well, he spoke of students. It seems he's got them somehow. Wherever they are, he probably is. No, oh my God, the I'm going to jump up. And I'm going to try and smash through the, the, the tile <laughs> below me. I want to smash through onto the first floor. I'm going to jump How? up and I'm going to like fucking like use the, the weight of this armor and like uh, just just my fucking like gauntlet fist with these with this sort of like cosmic energy and just smash down through the floor. OK, you do it. You just you just fucking do it. Holy you smash shit. down right to the floor and you are somehow right above that panic room. You smash down into the panic room. Oh, the shit. kids all take take a hearty breath. No, it's no, they don't closing. because they're not there. What? The room's empty. As you can all see, standing around this giant hole in the ground. Fuck shit. Miss Gilbert can't... stands there in an empty panic room. You motherfucker! You're playing on oh the music playing the fucking that. song, dude. <laughs> I'm so pissed at you right now. <laughs> I thought you were getting back at Charlie for a second. I was about to die, bro. No, no, I was, but I didn't, I didn't want to like actually play it. I just wanted to play it to fuck with him. <laughs> fuck Dude, you, that Charlie. was so fucking good. Holy shit. I was, I was like, oh. <laughs> um, That's awesome. Um, is Crazy Frog still playing? Nope. No, do that. Crazy. No. Is the Crazy Frog disc still there? Nope. Is, is the wire game still there? Please tell me it's still there. Is the game still Nothing there? Nothing is in the room. It is completely empty. It's completely empty? Okay. Yes. Interesting. Um, I would like to do a check to see if this is the real panic room. Um, yeah, you know, you know that it is the real panic room. It is? Room. Yes, this is the real panic room. Fuck, dude. Now, however, not everything in the room is real. You know that. Okay. Well, there's nothing in the room. Interesting. <laughs> if there's, if, if there's okay. nothing in the room, that means that Miss G isn't real. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I want to, I want to slowly get on my knees and put my hands out in front of me and and feel around for things with my eyes closed. <laughs> you do it, and you look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> do I touch anything? <laughs> the only thing. Really, in the room, it is just completely white walls, other than the door. <gasps> I'll say, I'll say, since you do have such a, such an ability to tell, you do know that it is it is the door, pretty much. That's not real. Okay. Something something is is different about it. Okay. I'm going to now look at the door, and in my um. In my, in my scholarish rage, I'm going to now attempt to just like shoulder check through the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, do the rest of you join Miss Gilbert in this? You you see me you see me jump down and look around and start like just like crawling around looking for things. And without a fucking word, I just like jump up to my feet and then I'm going to smash through the door. <laughs> As you jump up to your feet, I'm like, oh, Miss G, oh God. <laughs> oh my fucking patriots. This is why we suffer. bring chaperones. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she goes right through the door. Oh shit. And we will describe what is on the other side of the door when we figure out what everyone else is doing. Okay. Oh god, I run in <laughs> through the door. Okay, okay. Um before she uh did the hole in the ground, I wanted I wanted uh, Harlem to just be kind of on his hands and knees, panting on the ground with a bunch of sweat hitting the floor and he's like okay i'll change i'll change my attitude i'm sorry, I'm sorry. please ah! and then he just fucking falls to the ground with us <laughs> okay so scion and centurion are gonna follow you down there while centurion um doesn't fall as gracefully as the rest he just kind of falls like a rock literally um he will get up um Jason, I, I I forgot. Are you going through this door as well? I went through the door. Yeah, I ran through. Okay. So 
Miss Gilbert going first through this door. Yeah, I'm looking for kids. <laughs> you open the door to hear a crowd roaring all oh. around you. I've never heard them this excited before. <laughs> to your left, to your right, right in front of you. It's a coliseum. Oh, sugar plums. It's an arena. You are in a massive fighting gladiator arena. Standing at the top of a large platform is the Martian. Now in this suit, this dapper suit, he's looking dope. And behind him, Miss Gilbert. Oh no. Is your sixth grade class. Oh shit. So the rest of you come out and you also see this, you know, the 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 dirt on the the sand on the ground. You know, you see you see slight blood stains throughout it. Uh, the, these columns that go all the way around. Um, on either side, it's almost like a football game. They've got they've got a band going for either side, and they, with horns, they're playing music. It's very um, gladiator-y. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and as you all step in, you see that this door is just there. I have a sick one-liner. Can I say it? You can. All right. I look up at the Martian and I say, let them go, Martian. The kid's parents haven't signed a waiver for anything rated over G and I crack my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will. Of course, I'm not a monster. No. But you will have to play my game. Send them. And out from two gates, you see a horde of statues, just like Centurion, oh God. waddling at you <laughs> at mock speed. There's gotta be, there's gotta be like 20 of them. 10 on each side. My Harlem, God. Turned, Harlem turns around, he does an about face, he's like, you know, Miss G, I am, um, I'm more of a observant, I'm more of a watch. I reach I'm gonna my set this hand, one out. <laughs> I reach my hand forwards and grab onto something that isn't there. And you see forming out of this blue light is what looks like the trigger to something. And the blue light continues, these sort of, this, this starlight growing as you see uh, what looks like the, uh, almost a large tube begin to form as, as uh, Miss Gilbert is drawing her hand along of it, uh, along it again, her eyes sort of, uh, Almost, they look that this piercing blue that almost seems to glow, and her red hair looking even more fiery until it ends at again another sort of handle. And as this thing starts to form uh, over her shoulder as well, you realize that it is in fact a fully realized <laughs> rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> and as the yes. light, as the light, as the light fades. Uh, you see now that it looks almost like draconic and the, and the rocket in the muzzle of it has this like face of a dragon and Miss Gilbert just looks at the statues and she just pulls the fucking trigger <laughs> as this okay. huge like expulsion of runic energy fires out the other side and this like dragon shaped missile is propelled into the crowd. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, oh, let, go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll for that. It's an AOE, oh, by word? the way. It's like a big AOE. Um, okay. Like 60 feet. Oh my god. <clears throat> so that is going to be a... Um, hey, let me tell you something. Yeah. It hits. It does? Absolutely. fucking it's a, it's a 20 total. Not natural or anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It 100% hits, and it decimates every single one of them. Miss <laughs> Gilbert peels off a gold star and she just puts it on her own chest and just starts walking <laughs> towards the Martian. The, the crowd is going insane. They are just screaming, Woo! Gilbert! 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 <laughs> and, and the Martian seems pleased. Turn he them is, over right is, now and you can get a gold star too. 
<laughs> oh, and then the fun. What do your little friends do? I'm curious. How about some more? And you see the gates open once more. And another two gates behind you. As 100 of these things come to attack you. I don't know why I thought you were about to say wolves. I was going to scream. <laughs> <laughs> you know Condi. what? No, now it is. It is 100 <laughs> stone wolves. Condi, can we do the move? No, it is no 100 one. stone I mean, wolves. Go ahead and... Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah, sure. I, do you guys want to roll initiative? This? Yeah, yeah sure. it makes this is yeah. a fucking great time to roll initiative. Yeah, let's do it. Let's roll initiative. No, let's okay. let's, let's reform our, our three man attack. <laughs> is what I think. I think we reform our team to our team attack. That's Beyblade, I think. <laughs> Let it rip, son. Dude, Let it rip. Uh, does everyone want to hold their actions and do a sick ass team attack? Yes, I think that's absolutely I the will, play here. Top of the round is going to be Grizzly. So just just so you know, because I know this is important to your character, this Coliseum has shadows cascading inwards. It's almost like the light is coming from outside, and so there's a lot of shadow going on here. There's just a small circle in the center where there is no shadow, uh, but but pretty much all of these creatures are within this shadow. Well, I. Uh... I had I was going to look and see if there was a a ceiling above Mr. Martian and if it was covered in shadow. A ceiling? No, best, he is he's standing TA very freely. <laughs> he's standing very freely on a platform. You can't um you can't even really see the platform. He's standing high above everyone else. The platform has a shadow underneath it, does it not? Underneath it? Yes. But like um, it's it's like freestanding. It, it's not on anything else, really. I was just, I was just thinking about trying to shadow teleport underneath or somewhere near his legs, and then push him off the platform, or pull <laughs> him off the platform. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can don't try. You a, sure. Don't you have a whip? Don't you have a whip? I do. I do have one of those, yeah. Maybe there's something there. Mm. I was gonna... I kind of want to just uh, enter the gate where the wolves come from, uh, or, or you know, like, use you the, want the to? shadows. Do you want to go yeah. in, th in through the gate? Well, yeah. Well, okay, I you come out the other it. one on the other side. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Is it, does it, I want to use the shadow of, the, like, the, you know, because the gate's probably pretty dark, right, if you come in and out? Is it just complete darkness? It is just darkness, yeah. Then I want to use that as the, the entrance to the teleport. Um, and then come out on the shadows underneath the platform with my whip. Underneath the platform. I don't think, I don't think you're fully understanding. So it's just one platform and he's standing on top of it. To, go, to come from right. underneath it, you would yeah, just, yeah, you yeah, would just because fall. Because underneath, underneath the platform, that's the point. I want to fall here, and then I want to whip his legs and pull him off. <laughs> oh, okay, sure, awesome, roll for dude. that. <laughs> yeah, okay, fuck and it. I wanna, and I want to use ultimate effort. Because I feel like this is a big maneuver. You want to use ultimate effort? Yeah, isn't ultimate that, isn't effort. Isn't that a hero point event. situation? That's a hero point, bro. I'm going to use this hero point. Hey, yo, let's go. Okay. You want to use your hero point to fuck him up? Okay, sure, sure, sure. I want to basically act like uh, I'm, I'm scared, but don't remember, I'm only scared of the dark. So I'm not scared of shit. I'm going to act like I'm still uh, reeling over from all this, but low-key, you know, those kids are in danger. Yeah. And if they die, I'll never get to see them <laughs> pee themselves again. So I want to <laughs> run into the kids. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'll never get to experience the childlike fear. <laughs> so I run into the gate, and then uh, I'm, as I'm exiting the 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 shadows that is underneath that platform, uh, I would be pulling out the whip with it, like I did when I came from the shadow of uh, a guy with the bandages. I forget his name. Gaslighter, right? Uh, Gaslight. 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 Yeah. How could I forget? Yeah, yeah, just like that. Except this time, as I'm falling, I want to crack the whip. 
and wrap it around his legs and then yank that shit and try and yank him off the, Let's go. Uh, <laughs> the platform. That's fucking sick. Okay, do you... As far down as we go. Now, with a hero point, do you, do you even have to roll or can you just do it? I think, I think you just I do it. I think you just do it. You can, you can use a hero point to automatically succeed, yes. Okay, can you still oh, roll shit. so I, I know the degrees of success? I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> Never in half year to see shit. one. Never in half year to see one. <laughs> shit. Okay. I rolled a natural 20, <clears throat> so a total of 30. So, Harlem, you run into this, into this shadowy kind of thing where the wolves came from, jumping over what them. This? Jumping over them. You run through it and then you come out the other side. You look a little confused and then you turn right back around and run into that shadow. You drop right out of the bottom of this platform and turning around with a quick motion, all of you hear a whip crack that echoes <laughs> through this entire Colosseum. Wrapping around the Martian's legs, you grab him. And with the might you never thought you would have, you whip him down into the ground. Oh, and dear. as he whips down onto the ground, the ground begins to change, shock waving around him. It seems as though this illusion is, is dropping entirely. The ground changes from this, from this sand to that marble floor that you're so familiar with. Been a little too this, familiar with it recently. <laughs> I I keep bringing it up. I love that marble floor. Man, <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> and and slowly around him, everything starts to become what it really is, which is the center of the museum. Are and the he kids? is slammed down right in the center of the fountain. And are the, the kids, kids are in the corner of the room. Okay, they're real. Whew, all right. However, yeah. um. There's not a hundred of them, but there are more. There are wolves. Oh. There's ten. There are ten. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Imagine so that I yell, the darkness pulls you in. <laughs> <laughs> and as you slam him down into that fountain, he goes crashing in. And he kind of gets up, brushes himself off. Fixes his tie. Fucking asshole. <laughs> was <it> nice? <laughs> and with the illusions down entirely, it is now the turn of... Hmm. You the will Martian. be whipped by the darkness. It is now the turn of the Martian. Uh-oh. The darkness will whip you. <laughs> oh, dude, you're so <laughs> sus, bro. <laughs> The Martian takes his fist, oh. plunges it down into the ground, oh. and a green mist appears. He's gone. What? The wolves, though, they're still very there. What? As far as you know, he's gone. So he just vaporized into a, like, a, like a smoke bomb? Like a yeah, he... We get it, he farted. <laughs> More like the Farshin. What is up with everyone turning into fart gas that we defeat? <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, Does it? <laughs> okay. So, so, with him seemingly gone, um, I mean, everything seems fine except for the wolves. Except the ground once again shifts. And it's all black now. Oh, I'm sick of this. The room around you becomes <laughs> black once again. <laughs> sick of this guy. And it's just him standing in front of you. Wolves are gone. What? And he furrows his brow, looking dead at you, and says, All right, let's play. Fuck is going on? Is that on? a to who? Is that a to who? All of you. Just, okay. Like, okay, so okay, so the, I broke the illusion. You broke the illusion I'm and then falling he falling still. 
And then no, you, you hit the ground. Then... Superhero landing, bro. You're good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But cool. now we went, so we went into a real museum with kids and wolves, and now we're back in the dark with him. Yeah, he just brought up another illusion, pretty much. Yeah, I got okay, you. Okay, okay. Wait, are the wolves still there? <clears throat> he... Like, for us in the darkness? You can't see them, at least. Okay. You still want to do okay. team attack, <laughs> Charlie? I kind of do, because I think it'll be sick. Yeah, I feel like it was sick, and also I feel like, I feel like, like the wolves are still the there. Wow, it'll be <laughs> no, so cool. wow. Like, woo. Uh, but I, I have a low initiative, so yeah, it's all, fun. it's all dark. <laughs> um, next up is actually uh, Condi. Yeah. Okay. You well, must I'm... vanquish the darkness. Uh, how big is this room? The the room, the main room that I was in. I would the know. main room. Um, you would know because because you work there. Obviously, yeah. it's probably about twenty feet by forty feet. Pretty big room, okay. uh, but if not I, massive. So I made a, a, a fifteen foot sword. Would that hit the children? <laughs> wait, wait. I'm not. I'm getting my measurements all off. Maybe it's like fifty by like eighty. Probably like, okay. a, like a it's museum like, is like usually pretty like big and tall and stuff. Okay, yeah. I now have a good idea of how big I want to make my sword. <laughs> um, so for my turn, it's mostly going to be held action, but I put my hand in the air and I call all the fucking paper I can sense <laughs> within. I have a mile radius on my power, <laughs> so oh, my radius, <laughs> and, and just all around, fading in from the darkness, this paper just raveling in, coming into my palm, and it forms a handle, and it just keeps on forming into this giant hulking oh sword, probably fuck. 10 feet wide and 45 feet long, <laughs> and as it finishes forming, it just plummets to the ground, because I can't hold it in my hand, I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit, oh, <laughs> And just slams okay. and like dust pops off from the from the fucking the blackness. Believe me, I'm like, oh, Miss Gilbert, could you could you help me with this? <laughs> and that's that's where I'm gonna hold my action. Okay, the team attack. Sweet. And then next next up is Charlie. There you go. It's time. Okay, Miss Gilbert is gonna walk over the sword, and uh, she is gonna reach down. Hey, Harlem. Sing the learning song for me. Because <laughs> I think it's time this guy learned a lesson. Yes. And I'm going to reach down for this sword. And again, this golden energy is going to envelop my hand. And is this sword less than 25 tons? Yeah. Then I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> and I'm going to hoist it over my head and aim it directly at this guy. And uh, in the most anime fucking shit ever, uh, we're going to get a close shot of Miss Gilbert's mouth. And she's going to say, endless essay. And then she's going to go, bam! <laughs> and I want to use a hero point and fucking cut through this entire illusion and cut this fucking dude down. <laughs> With this huge okay. forty-five foot sword. Can I just can I just describe how I see it? I just like it, it does a close up in your mouth, and then like just like the build up to the swing. The sword's like bending the further back you get, <laughs> so it's like fucking the momentum is just so big. You're just just like the fucking okay. momentum just whoa, straight through him. It's know? gonna be fucking. So, I want to cut the darkness in half, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you do. So what happens Woo! here is Condi. Or I guess uh, so, Jason, not, Jason yeah. Origami. <laughs> <laughs> uh, origami, summoning all the paper in the museum together to form this massive sword, too big for even him to hold. It's all swirling around him in this darkness, and it comes together. The sword forms and it drops onto this dark ground. And Miss Gilbert, not missing a beat, runs straight for this sword, picks it up, grabs it, pulls it right back over, it close close up right on right on her mouth as she says exactly what she had to say. And almost says fucking essay. speed lines behind her. <laughs> pulling the sword up. She strikes it down. Cutting the darkness in half. <laughs> Revealing once more the center of the museum. 
I'm cutting straight and through I this Martian asshole too. I just want to be fucking clear. And also crystal. cutting the Martian in half. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh my God. He is cut directly in half. When you bring this sword down, it straight up cuts through the earth and is embedded directly down. The Martian is dead. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I but like he. You will notice he's not bleeding everywhere. He's made of wax. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like to imagine as it impacted the you know like those those scenes in anime when everything turns black and white and then it like explodes into just pure white as you mm -hmm. impact the ground. That's kind of what I imagine. I'm gonna look at the kids and say. Do not tell your parents about this. <laughs> All of them simultaneously piss from sheer just <laughs> shock. Why they just piss themselves? <laughs> what is wrong with these sixth graders? I don't know that. God. Harlem, Harlem underneath his breath when he sees this. I'd also like the blackness to kind of be sucked into his, his the bottoms of his feet so that he sure. regains some shadow energy. And uh, he just goes, boss. <laughs> I turn I turn to uh I turn to Harlem too and I say Nice job, TA. You may suck at teaching math, but you certainly can kick some ass. Take that back. I went back to school for four years. <laughs> <laughs> and as as you look around the room, the students are safe. Uh, cool. Centurion is nowhere to be found. Centurion's seemingly gone. What but, about Scion? But Scion. It seems that the blast from this sword shot him back into the wall. Wait, fuck. <laughs> what? And his mannequin body lays leaned up against the wall. Oh shit. Oh no, no, no. I run up. I run up to him. <laughs> Cyan, here. I give him a, I put a gold star on him. You Does hear he come back? You hear him coughing, even if he's a mannequin and has no face. You hear in the back <laughs> of your mind him. <coughs> I don't I don't think this is my battle to fight. Cyan. Silhouette. Oh, I put the thing back on? <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Forgot you're just lying to this guy. <laughs> no, I... Trust me, I, I know that's... You're not the real silhouette, but you are. Silhouette could... <coughs> could never do what you just did. You three. <clears throat> you were born for this power. I need you to stop, Dark Star. I, Before it's too late. We, we will, Sion. <laughs> <laughs> My okay. paycheck is gonna be nothing. <laughs> look, I would like, at, um... Sorry. I would like to kneel down and then put a hand on his marble, his, his stone shoulder. His expressionless face kind of just turns up to you. He leans his head a little to the side. In case, um, you know, in case you don't remember. <laughs> no matter what they say in the stories, with the texts, there is no darkness in death. So don't be don't worry it's poetic <laughs> <laughs> how is how do you even know that <laughs> <laughs> have you died Listen, before? <laughs> i've been in torment for 200 years this is this will be freedom some of the memories of the real um the real silhouette. <laughs> it just kind of 
That's something I think he would have wanted to say. I'm sure he would have. He looks up at Miss Gilbert. M Miss Miss Gilbert. No. Expert. Yes, Sion. You must be the one to use the artifact. Why Hold me? It. I'm just a middle school teacher. No. <laughs> you are so much more. He grabs you kind of and pulls you closer. <laughs> Never forget that. Never. He just kind of leans <laughs> back. <laughs> he just kind of leans back. And I go to I go to take my fingers to close his eyes and then remember that he doesn't have any eyes <laughs> and I just like kind of awkwardly like brush his face brush and his I'm like face. rest yeah. easy Scion the heroes are back okay now what do you do the Martian is defeated all there is left is to stop Darkstar pretty much I'm right? grabbing the I'm like getting the tablet I guess we get the tablet. I'd like us all to pose at the bottom of the stairs and a lower shot of us staring up towards where the fucking exhibit is with Dark Star. <laughs> Need to <laughs> build up music. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. I, I take oh the my tablet. God. I want to pick up the tablet. Oh my God. Yo. Right, as soon as the first guitar strum of Back in Black plays, I want my collar that was flattened to pop back up and the cape to go <laughs> and be continuously blowing in the non-existent wind we're, as we're we walking. walk up the steps. <laughs> we're walking. It does like side profiles of all of us. We all look really fucking awesome. I, I create a katana out of paper in my hand and I sheath it. <laughs> Start so walking up. You guys walk up. Walk up that staircase. I'm going to put the, the helmet back heroes. on. I'm going to put the helmet back on and click on the you face. You put the plan. helmet on. The Martian has been slain. Sion is dead, but you will carry his legacy. You jump over that big ass hole in the ground that, uh, that Miss Gilbert made. <laughs> if you kids move a muscle, I'm going to come down there and shove these Tims. I what he said, that, but gonna... nicer. <laughs> <laughs> As we walk past the kids in a corner, I kept forgot about it. I also look at them and I say, by the way, bathroom's right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now quiet, Coyote. We, we don't have business. Wow, look at you. Halfway through the second part of the episode. Tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really excited to hear what everybody thinks of this. This is my first time DMing. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous for this to go up. But I really hope you guys do enjoy it. Anyway, we're back for the mid-roll. Yeah, let's go. I just gotta I just gotta tell you about the cool socials we got going on. You should know by now, but if you don't, I'm gonna tell you anyway. So make sure you head over to our Twitch, twitch.tv slash JRWI show. We do streams and stuff sometimes over there. Pull up, come hang out, it's gonna be a good time. But if that's you know, if that's not your thing then come see us on twitter at jrwi show and if you want to talk back and forth with us and maybe people who also enjoy just roll with it use hashtag jrwi show tweet with that if you've got some fan art to show us man oh man i'd love fan art show me some fan art i want to see it i want to see it oh geez and if you and if you want to if you want to join the discord server make sure you go and join that uh it, listen itunes itunes i keep coming i keep coming for you listen i need you to rate us i need you to rate us on itunes it doesn't even have to be five stars i just want to know what you think show us your ratings on itunes and if you're on youtube likes down below please and thank you would really appreciate it in comments oh man we really i just love to see what you guys think of the show you know i love this show so much i want to i want to see what you guys are thinking and patreon oh how could i forget about patreon listen Guys, if you want to see some behind the scenes from this episode, make sure you head over to Patreon. We got so much cool stuff going up there. I'm talking about concept art of the heroes. You want to see what these heroes look like? From our amazing artist Nada, the concept art that went into creating these characters to go into the thumbnail, head over to the Patreon. We got concept art going up over there. We got post podcast discussions going up over there. And we got my DM notes going up over there. They're kind of, they don't make a ton of sense because I don't know how to write notes, but you know what? It, it's still something you can see the inner machinations of my mind. All right. And make sure, you know, I just want to say thank you. Just want to say thank you to all everybody, you know, whether you're supporting the show through just watching us or whether you're supporting us on Patreon, I just want to say thank you. Anyway, I'm gonna let you get back into the episode. Thank you again, everybody and I will let you watch the rest of the superhero one-shot. Okay, are you guys gonna go up the stairs into the, 
Yeah, there's yeah. just a super to epic montage floor. of us walking up these yeah, stairs. Yeah, so. I want to get up those yeah. stairs. Okay. You guys walk up the stairs into the room. Mm-hmm. It's a hallway, just one long corridor. On the left, a villain. On the right, another. On the left, another. You can only gather that it is the hall of great villains. Oh, this is going to be problematic. And at the end of it <laughs> is Dark Star. You've heard the legends, but you've never seen anything like it. They don't okay, let us start bring making the a rocket launcher. Ones. <laughs> you do that. You make a you make a rocket launcher. Um, do you do you go down to him? All these villains are kind of doing different things. Uh, there's one, the spider. He's just he's got like eight arms uh, and no legs. It's weird, and he's just like <laughs> he's just like he's just like tapping at the glass and like smiling at you with these weird like fangs. Um, Actually, wait. Could I? Are they like all like animated? Yeah, they're all they're all. Are there. they all still in their cases? Yeah, we we did they extra thick glass for these ones because you know again we we built the entire thing based around Night of the Museum. You know, worst case scenario. Um, it's really weird that you did that. <laughs> sort of planning for well, this exact situation like you knew it was gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hang I on. love that movie. It worked out. I'm gonna stand back. It is back. a light in the use... darkness of this world, <laughs> <laughs> and it's awful cinema. Um, <laughs> Hollywood okay. is a plague. So you guys walk down the hallway, mm-hmm. correct? Mm-hmm. I mean, slowly yeah. taking steps. I want it to. Is... Sure. Sorry. Um, if I can. Since I'm assuming this is the walk to the the big man to to the big big the big guy, the big man. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, is if there is is there a wall that's pretty shadowy that I can just kind of lean up against quickly, or right now right? on the on this side of the hall or just I mean is there anything like that around here? I mean I can, I can wait. I just wanted to see if there's yeah a chance no to... aside on the side of every case. Actually, you know what? Pretty much every um. Pretty much all of this hallway is, is pretty dark, right? The the lights are mostly right there at the end where Dark Star is. Okay, then if you'll allow me, just as we're walking uh, towards him, I want to uh, I, I want to don the shadow armor. Um, you yeah, you may don the shadow armor, which is 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 very cool in my head i'm trying to figure out best how to explain it i i think uh, you should like lean back against a wall and like grab both sides and like wrap it around you know what i mean that'd be fucking yo sick. that would be sick yeah yeah yeah. um like you're picking it up off a rack that doesn't exist <laughs> uh, yeah okay so i just i kind of uh in that case imagine grabbing a, a coat off of the the wall to slink it around uh back onto you except this time i'm basically pulling off this very long stretch of, uh, of of shadow and then i reach back into it and as i do you see like this um it functions almost as like plate mail except it's extremely uh it's very liquidy at first and then it sharpens into uh like scales like dragon scales uh of, of black sharp shadow that crawl up you know uh the the sleeve of the of the coat that he's wearing underneath the cape and then crawl up the the cape to make this the cape a lot sharper and then it you know after it covers the whole body you get this uh very uh just a screen kind of mask helmet just like a black uh void like a, i guess like, like the a halo. fencing helmet is what you're kind of describing almost kind of like that yeah except uh or that's almost exactly on. what it is yeah 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 like that except a little bit more uh fitted and then the it goes up into these large um black spike shadow like horns Ooh, and then cool. the uh the chin is like a very pointy uh sp- like spike that's what it looks like it's it kind of i think Dr- i think dragon is the right name or yep. it's like a dragon dragon it looks kind of like yeah, i'm just so gonna show cool. you guys for I, I think i can picture it i think i can picture yeah, it. yeah I, I got a good idea i think yeah. sounds dope i'm into it's, it uh, it's it's very very cool and then the cape still flows behind it like that but a Fuck little yeah. bit more fitted 
I, um, hmm. if he's doing this, I would like to look down, uh, Dark Star, and I'm gonna use my assessment advantage, so Miss Gilbert in her sort of mask, in her, uh, helmet, her suit of armor is gonna kind of squint her eyes a little, and you're gonna see almost these, like, little circular, um, like, magic circles appearing in front of her eyes that are actually gonna display what his, like, capabilities are. I I'm basically using it, it lets me, um, Use magic to pretty much determine his combat capabilities. I want to know what this guy's capable of and what we're up against right now. So the power very obviously comes from, and I guess I'll explain what he looks like now. Dark Star, as you see him at the end of the hall, sits almost on a throne. He is entirely made of rock, almost as if he is an asteroid. His hands come up. He's got maybe three fingers, but his, his hands are so large. He must be standing 15 feet tall. Mm. And he is entirely made of what seems to be rock and dwarf star alloy. And right in the center of his chest is a metal casing. And in the center of that, a very, very dimly lit dwarf star right in the center. He is capable of channeling this star energy through his hands, through his chest, and also has great power over gravitational pull. All right. Okay. That's, that's what I'm going to do as we continue to walk towards him. That was all I wanted to do. <clears throat> so you can I see that. <laughs> The face, the face of this creature is haunting, hollow, dead looking, as if there were never any life in it to begin with. But you can see this, this dwindling, tiny speck of energy in his chest. What do you do? I'm going to turn to Jason, and I'm going to ask Jason. Can you look in your notebook real quick? How did they use this thing exactly 200 years ago to, to defeat this guy? Um, 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 I'm flipping through the pages. Uh, um. She's like, do I just like smack him with it? Like, do I just throw that uh, shit on the ground? I feel like that's not a, we already did that I don't once, think that, this is what we, happened. I don't this think is, that would this work. That's, that, look at around us. This is the result it. of that, Harlem. Actually, Maybe that's how you reverse it then. It, it says that no one was there to witness the events, so we don't know how they did it. Oh, we should have asked Sion. Mm, that would have been smart, but he's fucking... Language? Well, the kids aren't here, okay? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so force a habit with her. Do you do anything with it? I mean, so I... I, I this is kind of outside my expertise. It's not really... Um, magical I, I i mean i guess i'm gonna try and understand it a little better I'm, I'm gonna try and maybe interface with it or or comprehend it or um examine it to see if there's any sort of mechanism or if there if i can make any of this out um because other, otherwise i got nothing there are no mechanisms there it is it is simply just the stone tablet but uh i will say this you you will recall how it functioned in the first place oh it was by touch. Right. That is how you initially released that energy. <laughs> that is the I only get, thing you can really gather. If I get my soul sucked into this tablet, I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> Dark Star is the tactile learner now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's you go. got to touch it. Let's go. You got to touch it. You got to touch right. it. All um, right. Well, it, it worked the first time when you touched it. Right, Harlem? So put my hand, I saw my hand on it on the middle of it. You slap right it and it gets slapped. Oh, I, I think we are just going to smack him with this tablet really, <laughs> really hard until his soul goes away. Because <laughs> I can't. There's can like, you read this? I can't read this. No, I know. I, I, I know like that. Spanish and Chinese and this is this is neither of those. Listen, I, I even learned some crazy hex ruin languages, and that's none of them, you know? 
This uh, this this tablet has like a green orb in the middle. You said, or am I remembering? No, this just wrong? just I an just... aura. It's an aura. Like it, it has oh. energy around it. And it's blue. It's a bluish energy. Harlem, did you did you take sure. any electives in like Alien? Did you take any electives in that? I didn't. I went straight for my I, my major. I didn't pay attention to history. Why would I pay attention right, to Alien? Yeah, class? that would be ridiculous. I, does the do the shadows are the shadows telling you what this says? Can you ask the shadows? <laughs> Let me ask them. Oh, the darkness. Uh, that was a mistake. What do you I see? Have said, have <laughs> As you're, what secrets do you hold, <laughs> shadows of the night? <laughs> As you are doing this, you see in a in a glass case, dark pencil man. What? <laughs> he looks over no. at you. He's looking at you, just staring at you, saying, just nodding his head. Can, can, he be called, like, can he be called like graphite or something like more dramatic? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's sure he's graphite called graphite guy. Gra and he's <laughs> like dark the pencil he's man, like the, you, know, AKA you know, like graphite. the black like art pencils. Listen, listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Charcoal. Well, that's, that's, that's the stuff in pencils. Charcoal. Is it? Or is it light it's, gra it's graphite. It's graphite. I believe. Yeah. Maybe it used to be graphite. Now it's. I don't remember. It might be something else. It was. It was lead before. I think now it's graphite. Mm. I gave someone lead poisoning on accident. I remember you're not supposed to use its space because the graphite splinters and then it goes into the exhaust and then the ship explodes. Well, when mm -hmm. I was younger, you know, I actually. Okay, what do you, what do you, what do you do? Are with you saying this to me tablet? in character? I hope you're saying this to me in character right now. And Miss Gilbert is just like so disapproving. Oh, if you are, that's totally fine. You go ahead. <laughs> oh, you want me to be in character? Sure. We're just talking about the pen. No, nah, it's. It's definitely it's definitely graphite now because it used to be lead. I used to. I think to, it's I mean, well. Actually, I remember reading. It's weird. I should know this. I'm a teacher, but like I always call it lead. Well, we used to stab ourselves in the hands with pencils for fun, and I got lead mm. poisoning at one point. I did that once. You do. Yeah. That I guess that explains a lot. Anyway, Dark Star, <laughs> pre prepare to meet your match. Uh, okay, wait. Idea. Can I try using the tablet on one of these villains in a case? Seeing what sure, it, I want to see what it does. All right. Great. You can. Here's my awesome idea. I'm going to. I want to. I want to. Fucking like just. Can, can I break through this glass? Is that. Is that. Yeah. Something I can... Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to punch through the glass and grab a villain uh, and, and yank him out like a. Like a fucking chicken and then just bonk him on the head with the tablet. I don't know okay. how to try this out otherwise. I'm picking the weakest <sighs> looking one, the shittiest one in the room. And the slow so graphite. <laughs> graphite. <laughs> no, that's not the weakest looking one in the room. You know, graphite's got great skill. Shit. You you move down the hall, and, and you see you see a dastardly villain, oh, staring you dead in the eyes. Kind of, he's flapping all around. He's a wacky, inflatable, arm flailing <laughs> evil guy. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you pull I, him out. Yep, and you bonk him, but he keeps flapping away. He is like flapping all around. He's just. Do I hit him with it? Kind of like. Well, you try. You're trying to. You're trying oh, to hit oh, him with oh, it. Oh, I see. I but see. he's all just right. like. He's just like going around like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it where he's gonna he's, move into. I'm gonna you keep, position you keep it. Keep going for it. You keep going to, for it, and then you and then you drop it on his head, and it's just flat. Nothing happens. It doesn't do anything to it's, him. He's still, Miss he's Gilbert, still, what have you done? Uh, why did you let? Him. Why did you let the, the wacky, waving, inflatable evil guy out of his case? What is he? What is he gonna do? Drive up car sales? This? Week? <laughs> oh, that's the that's the first thing he's gonna do. Then he's gonna crash our economy. That's he. Don't does ask that? how. So the yeah, tablet does, does not work on him. <laughs> no, it doesn't do anything to him. How the fuck does this stupid piece of shit work? I poke it again. I put it on his face and I poke it. Nothing. I keep I keep poking it. Harlem, touch touch the tablet with me. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take the tablet and keep walking towards the dark star. <laughs> this one, I'm sure we'll figure it out whenever we do it. We just stopped in the middle of the hallway as he's looking at us like this, and we're just fucking fucking with the tablet. We need to form making villains out of it. We need to form a hypothesis before we can reach a conclusion. Dark star starts. We should have done that before we looked at him in the face. Slightly. Or at I least think he's the, getting more powerful. <laughs> the throne, the throne, is shaking. That that whole side of the room, even. Well, um, very softly, but it is going. Okay, if that doesn't work, um, I'm gonna shoot him with a rocket launcher. Right now? 
I mean, anyone else got a better idea? <laughs> yeah, I call out the Dark Star. Okay. <laughs> Another dark friend. It's He's... been so long since I've seen you in the rocky flesh. Good idea. Okay, he's not. He's not. He's not saying anything. response. All right, shoot him with the cannon. All right, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing before pulling back this blue cosmic light until this rocket launcher forms in my hands. I look through the uh, the the reticle that has this spiraling rune, uh, and I fucking um. Anyone got any like cool like a cool one liner they can say before I shoot this uh, villain with the rocket launcher? Um. Die. Okay. <laughs> Um, that's a one I might, I might have something. And and behind you, you hear Centurion just <laughs> moving towards you, like slowly though. Hey, Centurion! And I turn around like with this fucking where? like comically large rocket launcher to point at him. <laughs> where have, where have I? Been? Oh Christ! Oh, sorry, sorry. Just, I gotta, just, just go in the other way. <laughs> no, 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 no! It's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna it go ahead and like kind of just around. like spell it. Yep. He turns back around. And he starts walking towards you. What are you doing? Centurion, Stop, we look like he already did. We defeated the Martian. I don't know if you you saw. We defeated the Martian, and now Dark Star is the only villain left. Besides this wacky, just slap him around a little. <laughs> that's not a villain i'm sure that's just a prop no okay. you don't even know sometimes you if don't you get, even yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. if you get too All wacky right. no you matter become a villain. no matter <laughs> well this what are you waiting for slaps by standards. well really I, I mean do, do you know like his you know like his weaknesses or any are you just standing there? i don't know who this is well i, don't know. I say you just shoot him all right, you how know? about this? I'm going to shoot him with the rocket launcher, and then we're all going to charge in and do an awesome attack on him all at once. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to yeah. keep... Yeah. Centurion, okay. do you know what this tablet is? Yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> I do. How Where can did we... you get this? Downstairs. How can we seal... <laughs> Down! Downstairs. How can okay. we... Do you know... Okay, you had stairs in, in Rome. How can we seal... <laughs> That thing inside this tablet again. I've only heard stories of uh, a great knight who will seal the dragon's heart in the tablet of fire. What is uh, this D and D shit? Come on, get that out of my face. Yeah, it's nerd. No, it's nerd not shit. D and D. Talk about it's nerd shit. It's real. Nerd. Oh my god! <laughs> you must touch it to him. Okay. Okay. That will extinguish. That soul, I've, is that a, what dog, what is that? It's like a, it it's looks like a star. dying, I think it's like a dying star. Yeah. I told you they were small. No, no. Small oh, sky God. orbs, it's in his chest. All right, I'm going to smack this guy with the tablet now. So, um, thank you, Centurion, for all of your help. Uh, you, here I go. <laughs> I told you they were small. You are a brave soldier. Expert. Please, you can call me Miss Gilbert. I don't know if I'm really used to the whole hero thing yet. Sure, Miss Gilbert. Thank you, Centurion. You Mrs. 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 Mr. Gilbert won't be happy if you go can't around believe, saying Can't believe I forgot about my husband and all this <laughs> madness. Okay, what do you do? I, um... I guess I'm going to... You got this. Take Wait, the tablet... I'm going to reach into my utility belt and I'm going to um, produce uh, what looks like um, it looks like almost some sort of like orb that's kind of like pulsating with this light. Uh, and I'm going to um, throw it towards him and in midair, it's going to like detach and expand out into this like cosmic sort of uh, rope made of stars with two of these um, uh, like lit uh sort of arcane things on the end of it and it's gonna spin around it's it's a bolo to like tie him up basically yo that's cool so that's you're my, tying uh, dark star to i'm gonna the chair? I'm, I'm, sh I'm throwing it at him i'm going to try and tie him to the chair with this attack and this is an attack that is like a snare so i can roll for it 
Okay. Um, it is a 26 to hit. You got him. He's restrained. How bad? Um... Because it's like, he's either, you know, like, he, he can still hop not around, insanely, or he's like, like fully... Uh, it, it's, he's fully, he's fully got. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I fucking... Does he, does he react at all? Hmm? I, yeah. I guess I'm going to take out, again, another one of these black stone birds. I'm going to throw it down and surf a wave of ravens, and I'm going to try and, uh, s fucking surfs up this bitch and, and hit him with the, the tablet. All right. <sighs> he, he seems to be pretty chill with this situation. So, all right, go back now. Oh. You throw this cosmic bolo at Darkstar, sitting on his throne, not moving. It easily wraps around him and the chair. And as you do this, you simultaneously create a platform of birds. Ravens? Ravens. Ravens. Soaring across this room, you hold this tablet in your hands. You get closer to Dark Star, and as you get to him, you slam this tablet down on him. And you land with a super cool superhero landing. Awesome. Whoa. And instantly, energy starts to flow between his chest and the tablet. Oh, looks like we got a little something here. That's sing the learning uh, song. You can't, like you can't to seem something. to hold it. You're you're trying oh. very hard to hold this tablet. The energy is is destroying all of the the paint on the walls is falling off. Oh shit. The, the cases oh. are all falling over. Can I There's energy make, coursing like a, through this entire room. Can I try and make like a strength check to like hold on to this thing? Yeah, you should make a go ahead and make a strength check for me then. I'm not super duper strong, but I'll give it my best shot. Okay, Go that's ahead. actually that's actually a 21 total. 21 total. It takes a lot, a lot, a lot of effort. Your yeah. Heelys kind of making you slide back a little bit, <laughs> but you hold on to it. You hold this tablet out in front of you, and with the power of the Hexpert, you keep your stance just a little longer and everything stops. The light dissipates. Okay. It seems as though you've done it. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, that was that Dark Star's really... not moving. Well, that, that was... light is that this... was once in his chest is out. Huh. The shadows are whispering to me. Now, there's one more thing, though. Before, the heroes got sucked into the tablet. How do we not get sucked into this tablet right now? I don't know. Like, throw it away. Throw it in the corner. Go! And <laughs> don't I touch toss it. it. I toss, I fucking <laughs> toss it into the back of the room, and I start going in the opposite direction. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's going to take my soul. It's going to take our soul. Free. And as... You're walking away. Standing in front of you. Yeah. Between you and the stairs is Scion. This son of a bitch. Scion, hey. Scion, I thought you were dead. I you died, yeah. I even gave you a gold star. You motherfucker. You, you. You did it. I can't believe you really did it. Sure did. You guys, I'm getting bad vibes. Fools. I'm getting bad vibes. Oh, there it is. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I didn't think I could really pull it off. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You led oh. me right here. What do you mean? Can you what do, do you, can you do the villain thing where free. you explain everything? Because we have no idea what's going on. Can you you know villains usually monologue? Go ahead and do, do the, that. Do you monologue. want me to monologue? Sure. Yes, this yes. is my day. This is my day of freedom. I might as well monologue. Two hundred years. I'm gonna stab him. 
you stab him. You go to stab him right in the chest. And out from your right, you hear glass break. And walking towards you is that spider. No, eight arms. Without fuck. skipping a beat. You hear the voice even still. The shadows compelled me. I didn't mean to do this. The shadows compelled me to do this. It was an accident. Bad. He always uses this excuse. Every time he gets into a detention, he always waver. says, the shadows compelled me. That's what he says. <laughs> the powers of the prime force stripped me of my armor. And it was only that that could set me free. What, you don't what? understand. Darkstar is not a villain. It's a vessel. The most powerful vessel in the world. The universe. You've led me right to it. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. What were... Wait a second. Oh, it was you're too the... easy. You're was... the gaslighter. <laughs> And from behind you, you see all of these villains break out of their glass. Oh, all of their shit. mouths moving in unison. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Wait, who, who are you then? Wait, who are you? If you're not oh, Scion. Oh, I'm Scion. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe my f story was fully told. Jason, how did you manage to get the facts wrong in your fun fact book this bad? <laughs> I, I didn't write this fact book, okay? It was given to me by the union. <laughs> Telling me he's been corrupted by the darkness. <laughs> oh, I am the I darkness! I know this feeling anywhere. He lost the fight <laughs> between the sun and the moon. Oh, oh. The original silhouette was at least a little more perceptive. I'm so fucking not aware of anything, dude. You have no idea. I stare at my phone too much. This is what they meant. This is what's wrong with me. This is so above my pay grade, and trust me, my pay grade is not high. <laughs> I, I never uh, want to go to let detention me, again. Let me explain. Minimum wage. <laughs> let me explain a little further. And as you look to the end of the room, you see a bright light emerge from Darkstar's chest. Oh, Jesus. As he stands up, ripping this cosmic thing from around him. Cosmic Bolo <laughs> stands up. Well dressed. And you hear, <laughs> you hear Scion's voice in unison with another voice. I was always meant for this power. They stripped it of me. <laughs> but no more! Okay, I'm going to now take my hand and grab this golden light and then use it to grab the tablet with this hand and throw it at Dark Star again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to just do this. I'm going to do the old scoop and I'm going to do the old dupe and I'm just going to from like behind Dark Star in the back of the room. It's just going to come. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I'm gonna try and just throw it into his fucking head. Can we team attack? You mm. can do whatever you want. I want to I, listen, listen. I'm taking to naming it the paper cut because I think that's funny because it's like sure. sniff, sniff snip. Um, sure. What if we did that, though? What if we did that and got rid of all the other villains? <laughs> Can we please? You Can guys we? wanna? Are you down with that? I, I, you I, I, I do want to do that tablet thing because I think that it might work, but we still have a lot to deal with. What, what do you have in mind, Grizzly? You grab, you, you throw the tablet at him, you make the paper sword, and, and I'll pick up its shadow. Okay. Okay. So, basically, I'm once again gonna call the giant sword this time it's gonna be as long as the hallway is, maybe even reaching. That's you know, it's gonna reach fucking Dark Star. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, are you gonna be able to assist with this one? Uh, Do you want to roll initiative for this then? If we're if we're doing like big attacks, yeah, we can roll initiative. Do I'm we interrupt use... any uh any any uh conversation? Was he saying something? I mean, he was just gonna keep monologuing, I guess. 
Okay. But, okay. Yeah. And she throws a tablet at him, then yeah, we sprung it. I'm we throwing the tablet action. at him, I mean, dude. She, I mean, it's she, like... Fucking, you throw the tablet yeah. at him, and, and it just kind of brushes off. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, <laughs> <Yep>. God. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. But, but you will notice that after this sudden burst of energy, the light in Darkstar's chest is still very dim. You do assume that is what gives him his power, but it, it is growing. Okay, well, I thought that would work, team. Top of the round is going to go to all of these, what are minions? Pretty much everyone that you have seen throughout this entire adventure. Mm. Oh, jeez. That means... The even even the split in half Martian Fucking is going to hop half. at you. All right. He's going he's just hopping at you on with either side, like trying to hold himself together. So sick of this guy. All of them are coming directly at you. But they but they seem to be more almost like they're falling apart. Like they cannot keep I'm themselves melting. together. You see, you see gaslight, you see uh the Martian, you see um giant peach. You see James James's giant peach. It's you huge. you see you see Is it Farbo? None other than Graphite and Pencil Man. No, not both of running them. Running at you. They're oh, too powerful yeah. together. They're, They're working too powerful together. together. They're working together, boys. Fuck. And you see all of those little like weird guys that are statues running at you. It's just pretty much everybody coming for a big dog pile. Like okay. a net. They're they're coming like a net pretty much. They All want right. to just All trap right. you down. All right. Um so I want all of you to make uh dexterity? Wait, what is that? I think it would be like Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, well, yeah, you, would be, it dodge dodge rolling, you would be rolling against our dodge. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm rolling against your dodge. Mm -hmm. Um what is so who gets got who gets got let's see what did you get i got a 15. Uh, i dodge i also dodge okay i don't dodge my dodge is 10. you don't dodge okay so everyone everyone pretty make pretty much makes it out of the way except for our main man harlem he is now pinned underneath this just mass of of wax figures and oh statues. God. They're not heavy, a pretty big but shadow the, under there. But they are on top of you. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's definitely a big ass shadow. Next up is Condi. Wait, no, 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 no. Grizzly no, and Charlie at the same time. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Okay. All right. Still team attack. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, get ready to do something. I, I'm taking I'm taking Jason's cue on this. I don't know what the something is going to be, but it'll be cool. I, I, I give her a nod. I don't know if it uses. I don't know if I can uh, prepare for the the team attack and also kind of go into shadow form for a second so that they're not trampling on my body. They're trampling on gas. You can do that. Can sure. I do both? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll you do that for use a your, second. You then. could for sure use your movement and then use your hold action. So like, mm -hmm. uh, okay. If I can, I can use movement. Then I'll teleport through the floor and through the ceiling. <laughs> Down to the next <laughs> next floor. No, no, no. Through like, the through the the ceiling. Oh, shadows. sure, 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 sure. So you you're, you'd be standing on top of them. Yeah, I'd basically cool. like. That'd be so cool if I can hang on to shadows. So like my my own body falls through this floor and then I, I come in feet first through the ceiling and I hang on for a second and wait for their cue. Sure, you can do that. Okay. Cool. Okay. And I'm guessing it's my turn <laughs> yeah, at this point. I mean We must cover them in a veil of twilight. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to teach right. them the true meaning of darkness. Oh, he's rubbing off on me. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I will use my hero point for this just because it's a three man team attack Woo! and why not? It's cool. It's cool. You don't man. have any success. If you're all using your turn for it, you do not have to do it. Mm. It's mm. three turns. It's three turns. I would not waste that right now. Just telling you. But you right could, now. and it would be so cool. 
up to you. Mm. I, uh, you can do what you want. I'm just saying I would not suggest it right now on these wax figures. I don't know how it would make it more cool if I used my hero point, though. You know, that's where I'm at. Hey like, man, it's already going to be sick. Do it sick. Do it sick. Okay, no hero point for now. We'll we'll see. I'll I'll find a place to use it if this doesn't do the job. And anyway, once again, hand goes up in the air, and or actually no, it just goes out to my side, and and just all the paper from that last sword comes up, but it extends longer than it was before, all the way down this hallway, um, and it's kind of like an angle where it just goes like diagonal down the hallway, you know, and like okay. catches all the all the people in net in between, like on the outside of it, I guess, or inside of it. Okay, and then uh. I look up to to Harlem. I'm like, <laughs> grab it. <laughs> okay. And I give um, I give Miss G a nod. As it falls to the floor again, because I cannot handle this. So what? You're just trying to make the sword. I ha yeah. That's my that's my thing is making the sword. <clears throat> and and uh, Charlie, you you held your action to do something with it. I'm going to do something a little different than what he might expect for this. Mm. But um, what what is, I want to know what I want to know what um, Harlem is doing first. Do I have to touch the shadows? I probably do. OK, I'll you drop down do. and uh, and as the sword is floating, casting its shadow of a, a much larger sword because shadows are much longer. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to, to to lift my fingers underneath this like paper like shadow. And then as I do, it's it, like you can see, you can he, you can almost like hear it and see it harden as the sword like lifts off as if you're peeling away a fucking um, <laughs> like a, you're just peeling something off of plastic or whatever. And it cut and it basically I'm peeling the shadow into a very hard and long black sword. <laughs> and then I am going to take this golden light around my hands and take the sword and sort of like hold it horizontal to my head. I want to go. I want to go shoulder back to back with the yes, Mrs. G dude, here. Yes, okay, okay. Yeah, yes. and do the exact same pose. All right, now, sweet. With the sword of darkness. Now the thing about and this sword, sword is, it's pretty long, and right? Sword. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It reaches back to Dark Star, right? It yes. I, does. I, I, that is my one condition for this sword. I would it's like very to. Long. I would like to click out my Heelys. And I would like to healy this blade into Dark Star. <laughs> right into the chest piece? Right into the chest piece is Harlem following my lead. It's yeah, gonna be so whenever fucking we, sick. Okay. Whenever whenever I went back to back, you would have hear, heard Harlem's voice say, Show me how it's done. I'll learn. Okay, well, that is a what's your role? My roll to hit is gonna be a. Um. Hey, Condi, what the hell 20. is? twenty. What? The, oh. Uh, you oh. roll a what? I rolled another natural what's the, twenty, what's dude. The to hit okay. On this big paper sword, Condi. I'm gonna Here, say it's on. the same. It, it's gonna be a plus ten for. Oh, it's plus ten. All right, I got a twenty-two. Okay, so what's going on? I got a I got a twenty two total to hit. Got so thirty. That's, that's total to to hit for you. Um, I'm kind of confused. Are you guys doing the same sword? Or no, my you're sword both is doing made of paper. Swords? His sword okay, is the shadow is of, of the sword made of paper. <clears throat> okay, yes. which is so just as fucking big. <laughs> so here's what happens. You both wielding these massive swords, plunging them straight into the heart of Darkstar. Darkstar, having a literal star in his chest, All right. with the paper coming in, the paper is immediately burned up once it enters <laughs> his chest. <laughs> the weapon slowly just burns away, and there's ash throughout the room. That's still pretty that cool. That didn't though. really work. That's pretty, but, it was pretty cool. Hmm. Where there is light, there is darkness, Dark Star. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing to swallow a star is the darkness. And as the you say that, the darkness inside your dark heart shall be made real. <laughs> while you see the paper sword just just disintegrating inside of him, this this shadow sword digs deep 
right into the chest of Darkstar, and you hear him let out a roar, a mighty and the fire burns brighter, but you can still see that shadowy blade in there. It definitely, definitely made an impact. Is he, is he gonna roll Team for damage attack. on this? Yeah, I'm gonna roll damage. whisper the roll. name of the team attack, and he goes, Paper. Black hole. <laughs> <laughs> ashes sure. to ashes, I guess. All of those minions seem to go limp. Oh. No. The wax ones melt. The 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 stone ones. Well, they're, they're still like stone. They're fucking stone. Um. <laughs> they're stoned. <laughs> they're stoned. <laughs> You see as he as he kind of grabs at this shadowy energy, tries to pull it out of his chest, and he kind of rips like a bit of a shadow out. And he's standing at his full might, kneels down to the three of you. In a voice that starts off like Dark Stars and ends off like a more familiar one. The voice of Sion. You don't have to do this. We don't have to fight. You can join me. This world is corrupt, look at it. Hell, I've been gone for 200 years, but I can already tell you what's happened. Everything is in disarray. We lost Arkansas. Everything is out of order. Arkansas is gone. Well, that was me, but that was you. I mean, oh, good who work. needs Arkansas? <laughs> Listen, we can bring order to this world. With this armor, with this vessel, I can bring order to this world. Will you not stand with me for a brighter future? Brothers, we have fought side by side. Mm-hmm. And sister. Go ahead and go ahead and roll a persuasion check, Mister. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting, getting. Me. <laughs> you truly are a really bright light, <laughs> and you cast the most beautiful shadow. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> So you I won't want... join me. Not in a million years. <laughs> Wouldn't set a good example for my kids. <laughs> then it will be your end. And Dark Star jumps straight out of the roof what? and goes flying into the city. Oh shit. Oh, I jumped to the moon. i knew you'd try it um that that ends his turn for right now oh fuck he's just jumping into the fucking city he don't need you he's already dark star now that's true he's he's right we gotta get this bitch i know exactly what i'm gonna do when it's my turn Okay, so next up in the turn order is you and Grizz at the same time. You got any fun combos you're thinking? I have one. Hear me out, Grizz. What if I throw the building at him? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the people in it? No, okay, you're right. The one right, with right, your right. children in it? <laughs> what? Okay, all right, all right. Here's, what, here's the first thing I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, gather these ravens around me and lift myself out of this building so that I can see around me. Uh, where's Darkstar and where is the heaviest thing that I could throw at Darkstar? So Darkstar is actually probably like maybe a mile Holy to into the city. He is, he is right now plummeting down into the heart of New Haven, the town square. Okay. I don't think whatever I throw um, is gonna, oh, what if I throw something huge, Grizz, and you come out of the shadow? 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look on his face. <laughs> wait, wait, the shadow on the ground. Yeah. It's going to overshadow him, him. It's going to overshadow him. Oh, can I no. come out of his shadow? I'll come out of him. The, the shadow is to... going to be of the thing on him. Yeah. Oh my God. You have to follow that shadow pretty much. I'm what's the what's a big fucking thing near me? So on top of this New Haven Heroes Museum. Yep. Are the prime force bronze statues. <laughs> Those are probably the heaviest things you can find right now. All right. Who's the biggest prime force member? Biggest prime force member? Actually, wait, you. I, have so, I have something so fucking metaphorical. I'm going to pick Go up. Ahead. I'm going to reach into the, the, the just ethereal fucking realm, clench my fist and around uh, the, sh the, the statue of silhouette, a golden light is going to encompass it. I'm literally going to throw Silhouette so he can come out of Silhouette's <laughs> shadow. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm going to fucking launch this shit like a javelin towards Darkstar so that the shadow passes over him and misses the... I, I want this thing to miss the city, but I want the shadow to pass over him so that um, uh, uh, Harlem can literally come out of him and, and stop Darkstar. You said you could lift 24 tons? 25 tons 25. total. 25 max. tons? Yeah, you do it. You do it. You just do that. I, I just pick it up. I just hurl it like a fucking missile. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you Does do it. Does it just you come out of nowhere? Because I, I, I thought the statue was on the first floor of the museum and we're not right now. No, Apparently the statue is on... This is a different statue. This is a bronze statue standing on top of the Hero Museum. Um, there's a lot of statues okay. of the Prime Force. They, they're, they're very mm, beloved. Yeah. How am I going to get... I got. I don't know. How do I? You'd have to... You'd have to Basically, enter the shadow as he's throwing it and follow it, I think, right? Doof, doof, doof. Or, well, what I was about, thinking is you go in a shadow here and then you come out the shadow there or something, right? I thought I have to see the I, shadow. Yeah, you'd have to see the shadow. Okay. That's why uh, I'm saying he I, could okay. follow the shadow as it is going. Well, I don't know how your I'd powers it, work, but word. hopping on is always an option. I'm going yeah, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna teleport to the below the... I'm gonna grab onto below the fucking uh, statue and just hold on. I'm gonna hug myself. <laughs> hold on, that's baby. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, there's a shadow at the bottom of it. You can just be in that. I'll tell you what. And just follow with it. I got an idea. Sure. Um. I while he's when he throws that uh let's see this is like a like a team attack kind of thing. This is definitely one of I the most pull... insane plans I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I will pull hey, let's out... just wait until you hear my plan. <laughs> this shit is uh, this I haven't pulled this out yet, so I'm excited to do that. Can I pull it out from your cape as you do that? Okay, how about this? I throw it and then I'm gonna flick my cape like this, and you come out of the shadow of my cape and jump onto <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So when? Oh my god, I'm gonna be riding on top of this shit. When? <laughs> when that happens, as I as I fade back to the background, uh, uh, back shadows, and then plunge out of uh, her cape, I will be wielding this ten feet long Muramasa of shadow as it's like right behind me. I'm like in this like fucking pose. It's like. Like holding it, like the, the blade goes behind me and some shit, and I'm like holding it out like two hands. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm crouched down on the on the uh, on the on the bronze statue. Fucking okay. sick, and we're going. dude. So essentially, this bronze statue is just flying over New Haven. It is just going. As you are flying atop this massive statue of yourself, technically. <laughs> you're looking yep. down at the city and you're seeing the layers of highway like I described before, but now you're seeing it, you know, up close. The, these buildings that go up incredibly high, these these helicars just going all over the city. Um, and this town square where Darkstar seems to be wreaking havoc. Uh, he, he's planting his fist into the ground and, and the, the areas around him, slowly different pieces of ground are lifting up creating platforms all around him. People are running, people are screaming. This, okay, maybe you hit like one helicar, but it's all right, probably. It's probably not, they're probably not gonna die or nothing. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Realistically. Try um, not to aim for anything, yeah. And you you see Darkstar right beneath you, wreaking havoc and taking claim to his city once more. What do you do? 
Is he? I want to hear Connie's plan first. Yep. Oh, uh, Connie's going after us, yeah, I well, believe. So. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the whole movement would be my turn. That's fair. Not necessarily. I don't think so. Teleportation is just movement and movement. You, you only I really. I used my turn move. to get you there. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm saying you. You can have a turn. Okay. You can totally do something. All right. Sephiroth, I would, this uh, bitch. <laughs> With some, with some dumb shit. Oh my god. I still need to get there, so that's my hey, issue. Hey, me I'm too, dude. I have turns. no idea how I'm getting there. Can I fly there in one turn? <laughs> For the sake of sanity. For the sake of it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. I sure can't go that fast, but... I would, uh... Go into the shadow of, uh, of him now. Or I would try and, and, and go into the shadow of, like, my myself, I think. Uh, if there's one being cast or like below the the statue, I'm trying to figure out where the shadow would be now for me to go into and then come out of the one that's on him because I'm on top of it, right? Fuck it, I'm gonna jump off the statue. Wait, no, yeah. no go away. I'm gonna jump off. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna leap. I'm gonna jump off the statue if I can even do that. I don't know. If, you know, I probably can do that. I'm a fucking yeah. superhero. Fuck you gravity. Fuck you, you physics. I'm a goddamn superhero. <laughs> I'm gonna run, I'm gonna leap off the, the front of the statue, I'm gonna turn around with this long ass, it's a 10 foot sword by the way, or it's like a 10, 15 foot long ass katana, and it's black steel, and the and the hilt is, is tied with red ribbon, I like that dark, the same color as the cape, uh, and then I'm going to, uh, fuck I have to touch it, no fuck it, I'm gonna try and cut him off, I'm gonna come down with this large, uh, I'm gonna slice his ass. Hey, can I use my advantages yet, or is that still a hero point thing? Your advantages you can always use. I'm going to do all-out attack. Yeah, baby! And from leaping off of this statue, Bisley, the DM, I want to stab this man into the earth <laughs> with my long, dark <laughs> sword. Roll to hit. I rolled a natural 19. And... It's plus 15 to hit with a sword. It's plus 10 to hit with the all-out attack. So, Silhouette, flying on this statue of himself, <laughs> jumps off from this statue, pulling out this massive shadow blade, correct? 15 and feet, yeah. <laughs> just driving it in to Darkstar. Let's go! Trying to plunge him into the earth. As you do this, a shockwave is sent through the city, or at least the square. Holy shit. Those, those pieces that he was holding fall. There's rubble everywhere. You slam him into the ground. <laughs> now that's a TA. <laughs> Next up, we have... No, that's a KO! Oh, thank God, he's still alive. Okay. Okay, I have a question. If I use a hero point, can I do my insane attack list turn? <laughs> yeah, sure. We can just say for the sake of it, um, you guys get there. Awesome. <laughs> we're there Come on, now. Kids, we're going on a field trip. Beep beep. Get in the school bus. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is a normal field trip. What the phrase? No way. <laughs> I want to canonically roll up in a school bus, please. That's fine. That's awesome. Anyway, that's fine. Okay. Awesome. Damn, my Here's character's what so fucking cool. <laughs> wait, wait. I want to After... say how I get there, but you, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say the school bus. Just, I would say it had both of you in it. A school no, bus no, goes have... flying into the square. And... <laughs> <laughs> she threw the school bus. I threw it with us all in. And, and Miss no. Gilbert just steps out of it and kind of brushes <laughs> off. And that's it's fucking now awesome, I dude. Was hey, not red in the hair school bus. flowing in the fucking wind. <laughs> Red hair, actually, okay. if, if it's like anti-gravity, it's like coming up. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Here is here is my and I'm going to use a motherfucking hero point. OK, OK. Here is my entire turn. I'm going to fly. I'm going to jump on my tiny little hero facts notebook. The only <laughs> piece of paper I have left and start flying towards the square. And as I fly towards the square, I want to steal as much paper from every single <laughs> building that I pass yes. on the way. Yes. It's going to be flying behind me as yes. I suddenly <laughs> appear above the square. Taxes are going to be a little harder this year, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. They'll understand. Sorry, I'm fuckers. sure. 
I'm gonna stand, and if you look up, you see... Well, ironically, a silhouette of not silhouette, but you know, whatever. <laughs> As I stand in front of the sun, and suddenly, the papers start to come together, oh. and the sun, the light starts to disappear Holy from the planet. Shit, As a giant paper planet is formed <laughs> in the air, <laughs> and starts to descend on top of Dark Star. And me! <laughs> and you, but you're a shadow man, you're fine. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to put my arms out and go <laughs> Plunge them into the darkness! And as so, he as he yells that it starts plummeting towards the ground. Dude, we all what fall the so let me get this straight. shit. <laughs> you start with the one piece of paper and you go flying into the city, and all of a sudden all of the paper from the city just amasses underneath you to create this massive ball of paper. You're just gonna throw a massive paper ball at him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> You're doing this. You're flying. There's, there's practically speed lines behind you. You're ready. The wind in your hair. You've never felt so powerful. And... In a random Gilbert has building, never seen a spitball like this. <laughs> in a random building over to the left, oh. there's just a man sitting at his desk with a dead look in his eyes, just staring down at the papers on his desk. Dead end <sighs> job, no wife, no kids. He's already 30. What is he gonna do with his life? What the fuck is he- Holy shit, all the paper goes flying out! It's all, everything's going! Holy shit, he's just bombarded with so much Fires paper! How is he gonna do his taxes? His taxes, oh my god, he doesn't have to pay taxes anymore! Because Origami is flying through the sky at <laughs> mock speed, puts together a paper ball that puts out the light of the sun, it's like a solar eclipse, except it's paper and shit. And this, and this planet-like sized Ball of paper comes plummeting down. And as it falls, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna crush you into sand, paper. <laughs> That's my one line. He looks up and does like the one eyebrow up kind of thing. Like, what the fuck? I do want you to know that, um, Silhouette is literally on top of the dude. Hey man, it's a big it. shadow. I'm sure I'll be fine. It's a giant shadow. It's a giant shadow. Uh, silhouette, I'll allow you to, um, to get in the shadow because holy fuck, don't die. <laughs> no! Don't die to paper. No? You I'm can... pinning him into the ground with my sword! Oh my so god. So he can't go anywhere! Oh no! As, as you <laughs> have this sword. From the darkness! Deep, deep in the heart of Dark Star, <laughs> a shadow takes over you and you assume that this is the end. This is the darkness consuming him. But. Then you look up and you say, holy shit, because there's a fucking big, massive planet of paper coming down right at you. Condi, that's an instant success, but go ahead and roll damage yeah, here. Sure. sure. I look up, I, I look back down at him. That is a, one second. I don't even know what to add to that, but it's, it's an 18 anyway, so. Can I, can I do it, anything here or no? All my attacks um, are plus 10 to hit, not so. Not right now, That's okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just oh, worried sorry. about my students. Your students are safe distance. I, away they're from they're in a school bus. I'm worried about my I'm worried about my TA rather, <laughs> who is going to take the force of a fucking planet. It's paper. How about get it earned? <laughs> Pretty badly. <laughs> this big paper planet comes crashing down into dar both Dark Star and Silhouette. Silhouette, you. I mean, you do get hit by it, but not by a, it doesn't really do much. How do you get away from this? Once I see that his body is being crushed by the the planet, same as me, um, I will uh, <clears throat> turn into uh, my shadow form. My entire body will become that shadow like gas, and I okay. will just basically. Uh, <clears throat> Go through the the paper, crease the the cracks in the paper. Actually, you know this okay. is a planet. Do I have to roll two to not die? Um, it, it's uh, not really a planet size. It's not really a planet. Right, yeah, yeah, it's just a, it's just big. It's you know, a, there all just, the people are already out of here pretty much. You know, there's some there's some cars <laughs> going. 
Uh, nobody's nobody's really dying here. Uh, I'd it's probably just say those like, two that are in the. Um, I'd probably I'd want to say like yeah, I don't know fifty to hundred meters or so. I don't, who knows? Meters? Okay, mm-hmm. Canada. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fucking feet then. Feet fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this planet comes crashing down. I keep saying planet because it sounds cooler. It does. And you it's see way, the visual. You see color. a beam of light force itself up into the sky. It definitely did some fucking damage, but Dark Star is not going down that easily. Fuck. Because you mm. see him, you see this paper ball crumble around him. And it's f- on fire. There is so much fire, actually. There's a lot. <laughs> it, is, it is a lot of fire. There was a lot of force in this. All of this paper is now burning. Uh, and Dark Star gets up from this crater you have knocked him into. One um, hand on one side, the other hand on the other, rises up. Sorry, what's up? I'm still floating on my tiny hero fact notebook. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. This is like a... And thing. he says... All right. You want to be the heroes? Fine. Be the heroes. And Dark Star rushes over to a nearby car. Oh, fuck. Grabbing it right at the top and chucking this car with civilians inside. Oh, no. <laughs> straight up. I want to. And starts I... running in the other direction once more towards oh, the train. Shit. All right. Towards the bullet train. All right. Well, um, that's a car with fucking civilians in it. Um, I'm going to, uh, use this, this golden light around my hand that, again, my gauntlet reaches into and grabs to try and slowly stop this car midair and then bring it down. Okay, yeah, you do that just fine. Um, you're, you're able to bring the, bring the car down. Okay, um, how far away is he now? Uh, he's, he's not getting too far. He's over right by the, uh, bullet train fucking asshole here's what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna produce not too far i'm gonna produce another disc uh from my utility belt and i'm gonna hurl it over in front of him where he's moving where this uh portal again is going to ripple open i'm then gonna uh Mm -hmm. step through an identical one of those rifts and step out in front of him that's gonna be my turn okay you can totally do that Um, all right silhouette what do you what do you want to do here is he 30 feet away or more Wait, did uh, we do anything about the car? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I stopped it. Yeah, I stopped he did. it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that's what I did with he my He is more than 30 feet away. He's probably, I'd say, about 300 feet away, but this uh, this portal is pretty much right near you. You can you do the portal. The portal leads all the way to him, yeah. Mm-hmm. You could both easily get to this portal. Okay. Then I will uh, grab the sword uh, once again from the shadows and run into the portal, and uh, I'm going to try and, and slice him again, if I can if I can do that. Sure, you can. Go ahead. Roll for it. Two, 29. So what happens here is you is you emerge from the portal and you go to strike down with this with this shadow blade, and. He uses his gravity power to take the nearby, uh, uh, what do you, what do you call those things that are like over top of something? Like a platform? Archway, yeah. Take the nearby archway and push it over directly in front of you. So that's all you make contact with. (laughs) This now bringing it down and blocking the entire train track. Is the train in danger now? There is no train uh, that you can see currently. My arch nemesis. Okay, that will bring it <laughs> to. I like that, that will, one. I like that one though. That will bring it to Origami. Hey yo. Hey yo. Oh, uh, do I have to take the portal to get there fast enough to do an attack, or do I? Yes, can I fly? you. You. Well, you know what? You can fly. Sure, whatever. Yeah, Let's okay, just say sure. this book goes really fucking fast for some reason. It's a really fast book. Who knows why? Um. Okay, I'm gonna fly. And as I get above him, this time, I'm going to jump off my book 
And I'm gonna take what little paper I have left and form it into a spear. And I wanna, okay. I wanna plunge it into him from above as you I go fall. To, you go to form this spear. Uh, and you and you go to you like, go to stab down into him. Yeah. Go ahead and go mm -hmm. ahead and roll for that. Okay. That's really bad. Uh, let's see. That's a plus fifteen to hit nineteen. Uh, that's not okay. So here's what happens: you come down to plunge into him with this paper sword or paper spear. Sorry. <laughs> And he sees you coming, reaches his hands up, and a beam of light shoots directly up and blinds you, as well as burns this spear. You are now falling, and you hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Your paper bones! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it does not seem like... Fuck. My bones are now paper mache. That got it. I guess. Okay, next <laughs> up is going to be Dark Star. And at this point, you start to hear something in the distance. Oh, god damn it. It's a train, isn't it? Dark Star <laughs> looks down at you and says, You're not heroes. You're barely even humans. Weak! And he grabs. <laughs> Without actually grabbing anything, he somehow lifts up a huge portion of the train track and oh. all the stone underneath it, lifting it up um, into the sky, almost creating a meteor. You see him close his fist and a light emerges from his chest and raining down from the sky is a meteor directly aimed Fucking at what a meteor? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was my move. <laughs> Directly aimed at. Hmm, who are we gonna hit? Fuck. Hexpert. So. So. That. I guess is... I'm rolling to dodge. I'm trying to dodge this, right? You're going against. Yeah, my dodge. you're trying to dodge. So that is gonna be a thirty-one. Yeah, that hits, that hits, that hits, that hits. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 that hits. Yeah, that hits. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay, hits. so go ahead and let's just say here. Hey, I have a question though. Just hmm. really quick, because I want to do something interesting in Mutants and Masterminds. There's something called contests. When you have two powers that sort of oppose their, uh, themselves in effect. Is the Meteor less than 25 tons? Mm, yes. Yes, Can it I is. Attempt to stop it from hitting Go the ahead. fucking city. Go ahead and try. Well, it's just, it's not a huge meteor, but it is enough to really fuck you up. How just me or just me or the city. Just me or the city. Way. <clears throat> it's not a real meteor. He's just grabbed a chunk of earth, brought it up, and brought it back down using gravity. Oh, then I'll just take it like a fucking awesome person. Okay, you want to just take it like an awesome person? Yeah. All right, go ahead and go ahead and roll. What's the DC? Go, we'll just go ahead and roll for me. Nice. I resist it with a 23 because of this cosmic armor. Uh, okay, so that's going to be one degree of failure. All right, that still hurts. This seemingly meteor comes crashing down and slams you into the earth. Ugh. As Dark Star's fire burns brighter, you can see it starting to make his way, make its way up to his eyes. That lifeless face is now starting to form life. He is growing oh, stronger by the minute. You need to do something big and do it now. And you know it. Okay. Question. When I analyzed this body earlier, where did it seem weakest? In in like, did it seem weak in like mental defenses? Mental defenses? Mm, not necessarily. Dark Star is, is essentially a, a vessel, right? And and it is being controlled by Scion. Scion's well, that's, mental that's, defenses that's are pretty that's gonna be pretty good mental defenses then, yeah, huh? Yeah. Scion is a, you know, psychic guy. He would do he do psychic, he do that kind of shit. So he was most probably vulnerable 
I would say to to those darkness attacks, you you would see that it's very obvious he takes a lot of damage from that shade. Also, also that center dwarf star being being shifted does a lot to to damage him. He he does look pretty damaged around there. There are cracks around the chest around, near that near that center. Piece. Interesting. I am going to do a power stunt. A power stunt. What that is is I'm going to use extra effort, so I'm going to be fatigued after this. And I'm going to temporarily gain an alternate effect from my utility belt. Okay. So I'm going to reach into my utility belt and try and pull something out that will help me in this situation. What do I pull out? <sighs> ah. Do you really want me to choose what you're going to pull out here? I have a fucking, I have a backup idea, but it, I, I kind of want it to be something I don't totally know. But mm. I want it to be, I'm looking for something helpful in this situation. I want to punch this man and I want to punch him with darkness. And mm. so I'm using okay. this power stunt to try and create an effect like that and reach in my utility belt and pull out something. Uh, I, I'm just thinking in the back of my head that I need something like that. To stop this fucking doofus from destroying the city. And you're and you're specifically looking for something that might have that dark energy within yeah, it. Yeah, that dark correct? energy and something I can hit him right in the core with. <clears throat> so you're looking through this pouch that you have, and you see something that resembles the same insignia on the chest of silhouette. It's a small one, but it's there and you recognize it. Oh shit. It is it is circular and there is a button on it. Or it is, it is like a, a sphere, spherical, and there's right. a button on it. I pull it out, and I'm going to um, hold it in my hand and slam the button part of it against him, like, like right next to him. Right next to him? Into his core, so I want to be holding it so in my hand. So you want to put it into his core? Button out, button out towards his core, slam it against the core so it presses the button. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I don't know what this so, does. Maybe I'm going into a black this, hole. See, you, idiots. <laughs> this is essentially a mini black hole grenade. <laughs> yes, Oops. that's pretty much what it is. Oh shit! That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> Let's <laughs> fuck it up, baby. You wanted, you wanted me to do that. You yeah, throw that I took in science there. Science class. You press the button. Oh, I'm punching it. I would it. like. You're punching him with it? Are you I'm are you sick. standing just, in it? Bam! Are you holding it? Are you touching it? I don't know what it was gonna do, so yeah, I'm holding this I shit need, when I slam I it need against you, him. I need you to roll. What? Um Dexterity? No, how about dodge? You want to not be sucked into the energy my, pulling in. My dodge is, is pretty solid. It's six, and I rolled a 16, so not bad. 22 total. 22 total? Okay. So let me... That's definitely going to hit him. Uh, I'm also... Chest. Um, I'm acrobatic and maneuverable is one of my advantages, so don't worry about me. I'll backflip out of the way of this black hole. <laughs> so I want... Uh, you're good. I want the both of you. Um, black flip. Black flip. I want the both of you to origami silhouette. I need you to make the same check because it is a black hole pulling energy inward rapidly. There, Artists. There is. You need to try and, and not be pulled in. Make Maybe a, that's a a strength. Dodge. But you know what? Fuck it. Do dodge. 27. 27. You're good. Um, origami. Mm hmm. Um. What was it? Strength, you said? Dodge. No, dodge. Dodge. Okay, that's good, because I would have totally fucking failed. 28. 28? Okay. You all hold your ground, but you see Hexpert slam this black hole grenade into yeah, the chest of Darkstar. And like you've never seen before, energy is being sucked into his chest. Things around you, the. 
The matter, the the bushes are are coming forward and and being sucked in. The a lot of paper from the city that is now just here <laughs> is being sucked in. It's mostly paper. And oh, these so flames, paper. these flames, you can see they're kind of being almost put out. And the and the and the fire in his eyes is slowly dwindling. Witness then, eternal blackness. <laughs> and then an explosion of energy happens. Oh shit! And he is thrown onto his back and slowly lifts himself up. God but that seemed to do it. a lot. <sighs> He's still fucking kicking, dude? Shit! <sighs> Condi, How did a black get... hole not destroy his life? I don't know, dude, but I'm not <laughs> looking super hot right now. I got I got hit by a meteor and now I've used, I've just Connie, I am you gotta, fatigued. You gotta do something. It's, All right. I mean, it's my turn. Is it? Uh, oh, oh yeah. You, it is. He was okay. here at the same turn as me, so yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. okay yeah. Okay. Hey. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Why is black hole is a lot of darkness, right? And there's something you could do there. I don't fucking know. Black hole sword? <laughs> you think the, did the black hole go away? I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it pulled all this energy in and exploded it out. All right, I want to. I'm gonna uh, bounce off of Mrs. G here, and right before the black hole goes away, I'll use the black hole to teleport out of it. So I will basically jump out of the black hole as soon as it dissipates, and uh, I will be as he falls into his back. He's about to lift himself up. I will uh, do one more final stab with the with the sword. As you, I take shift. back what I told you. There will be much darkness and death for you. As you Sayonara. shift. <laughs> Sayonara. <laughs> Dark idiot. <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> Alright, quit while cool you're ahead. Quit while you're ahead, bro. You, as you shift into the shadows beneath you and emerge from Darkstar's chest, from this black hole grenade, you pull a massive katana out from the chest of Darkstar, flying straight upwards. You take this blade and you slam it down into the chest of Darkstar. And with that, he's done. Dark Star <laughs> is no more. The fire in his eyes goes out. The fire in his chest goes out. There is nothing. Smack him with a tablet. Good measure. Good measure. Bam, bam, bam. Fuck that bitch. Smack him with it. Bam. Fuck you. Good in there. Prepare to become nothing more than a silhouette. <laughs> Whoosh. And with that, the new prime force has now slain the train the is evil coming known the as train is coming the train is coming my, 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 my kids they're laid back for class they have social <laughs> and as studies as you stand triumphantly with this victory you hear something perhaps the oh, horns oh. of victory oh. perhaps the sounds the sounds of the people calling your name, but perhaps it is also the train conductor oh, who, is, who is honking the horn really hard because there is just a big Ooh. rock dude in the middle of the train tracks. There's also like no tracks at one point. There's no tracks Yeah, anymore. there's also no tracks. There's no tracks and he's, he's in front of it and then there's that big hole. And then oh, there's Mrs. a bunch of Mrs. shit G, coming can down. You, can you learn some new tracks? Um, um, I'm gonna. Uh, we gotta lay down a track. Get out of here! The beat tracks in here. Uh, paper, paper tracks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you make, you make shit, man. Uh, make the paper, paper tracks. Make, make paper tracks. <laughs> Turn order is over. You can do whatever you want here. But uh, I don't have enough paper. It's all burned. <laughs> No, I'm gonna look for more people in a in a mile in a mile radius. Is there any you have more a mile paper? radius? Yes. Yeah, there is a lot of fucking paper. This is okay, this good. is a massive city. It's like New York. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I pulled as much as of it as I can. I guess. 
Um, um okay. I, I, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really super equipped to stop a train. Um, I can't, I can't, no. <laughs> but I, listen, I'm feeling pretty powerful with this armor, baby. So I'm jumping on the tracks. Hands out! Why? What do you mean, why? That is a train. That's a, that's a <laughs> that is a train. bullet and train. And I'm one of the greatest heroes in the world. I'm gonna use extra okay. effort. I'm gonna use extra effort again. Um, okay. And I'm gonna. And you want to crash it? No, I want to slow it down with my fucking hands. Like right? stand in front of it and. Wait, yeah, actually, like, do we about... do we need to slow it down or do we just need to get it over this? We need to get it over this. You just there's gotta like solve a, the problem. There are people on that train that are gonna die okay, if they- there's if people they, on the train. If there is a massive impact, they will all die. Okay, right, right, right. So the problem right now is Dark Star's on the tracks and the tracks are broken, right? Yeah, there's there's a major obstruction. Okay, I'm gonna jump on the tracks and, um, and try and just roll Dark Star off the tracks, then. Uh, okay, are you doing that just normally or with this big strong hand? Uh, I'm just doing that normally because I feel like I'm sick of mm -hmm. using the big strong mm -hmm. hand. It's fine. They do it in comic books all the time. You yeah. go to roll Dark Star off and you just kind of go, e e he does not budge. Shit. All right. In that case, I am going to use a power stunt. I'm going to pull these uh, wrappings to produce a different effect. I'm going to reach into my pouch. I'm gonna produce what looks like this tattered sort of cloth that keeps going with these charcoal etchings on it. I'm gonna wrap them around my hands, and then they're gonna start glowing okay. with this sort of blue light. Um, and these are gonna actually these are actually to enhance my strength. And now I'm gonna okay. try and again flip him off of this tracks yeah. with this newfound okay. strength. With with that on, with this newfound strength, you you grab at Dark Star, you pull a couple of times. It's kind of hard, and then you rip him up off Woo! of the tracks. But there's still this major spot right here. Now I know for a fact, uh, Origami, you wanted to do something with the paper. You can you can summon a decent amount of paper from around you right now. What are you gonna do with it? Explain to me. I how was gonna, gonna I was gonna make it into more tracks for it to kind of go over. Go uh, over. Go over him. Yeah, dark dark star. But, uh, uh, so dark star it doesn't need to go over. But yeah. now there is a major hole Maybe in the around. tracks. You just gotta... Okay, well, I'm just gonna go through it now, obviously, but, like... Okay. Th th my plan was to go <laughs> over him before he got fucking, you know... Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, no, that's fine, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's more easier, are you kidding me? It would fucking fly off, probably, if I went over Yeah, so we're just gonna make tracks straight across, connecting it. And, uh... Alright. Bridge the gap! Bridge the gap! Gap to bridge! <clears throat> you do it, and, and you... I mean, it's not that hard to make, you... you have made much, much crazier things with your power, your newfound power. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. you, with ease, you make these tracks and, and they look a little They're flimsy, paper, but it's not though. a huge gap. It's not a huge gap. I, I want to just in case move down below the tracks and hold out my hands in case the fucking train goes through the paper to try and stop it from hitting the ground. Okay, so plan you grab B. It's this It's just plan paper. B, it's just insurance. You grab these paper tracks, which you now feel is very flimsy. <laughs> and you hold them up, and the train goes right over top of you. Oh shit! Okay, it's going, it's going pretty fast, right? It is going pretty fast, yeah, but it's yeah, a, yeah. physics. It's a bro. Long train. Love physics. Love physics. Hey! Let's do this. Did we? <sighs> did we just find your? Gonna, gonna, did we just gonna, find gonna, your learning passion? I'm gonna. <laughs> We just, I think we just found his learning passion, everyone. Oh my god. Let's sing the I'm learning gonna song. <laughs> I'm, gonna run, I'm gonna run under the tracks and then help Mrs. G hold it up. Let's go. I'm gonna... I'm, gonna... I'm just I'm just kind of concentrating on it still. And Trying as you're concentrating, up. and the two of you are holding the tracks, a crowd gathers around you to see what you're doing. Seeing Dark Star lying lifeless. Seeing you exerting your power like they haven't seen in over 200 years. <laughs> the age mm. of no heroes is over. And there's a new prime force in town. Woo! Yeah! 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 Uh, yeah! Prime force! I grabbed the nearest... TV reporter, cameraman, turn the camera to my face, grab the mic, and say, "Teacher should be paid more." <laughs> <laughs> and with that, 
We end my one shot slash campaign pitch. Woo! Fuck yeah, dude! Hey, Mrs. G, what you know about astrophysics? Hey, uh, <laughs> I teach middle school. <laughs> Yo, you made it to the end of the episode. Let's go. Yo, you know what time it is? It's time to shout out our amazing patrons over on Patreon that are supporting us at that $50 tier. So let me get a big shout out for Indy Mindy 9. Let's go. Thank you so much. Another Sophie. Thank you. You're amazing. The Godly King. Oh, so godly. Thank you so much. Rishiv Rishiznivi. Rish God, I'm so I have such a hard time saying that name, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Jumpiest Venus 34. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Riker Kill. Kirodu, oh, appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. Curious cosplayer, you doing, you doing, you doing great stuff out there. Thank you so much for that support on Patreon. Let's get this broad. Thank you for all that support on Patreon. We love to see a salutation. Thank you. We really appreciate that broad. Thank you so much for all that support on Patreon. Divinator, oh man, Divinator, don't even get me started. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. And last, but certainly not least, thank you, Jay Newell. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening to the episode. Thank you for all the support on Patreon. It, you know, I just really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Love this show so much. And I'm just so glad that we're able to do it. But take care uh, and goodbye.